All right, all right. Good morning, class. This one's going to be a long one. This one is going to be one episode because I'm doing this for I'm doing it this way for a very specific reason. I'm I'm going to do um, a Kome restoration. So if if you watched the video where I did a proof of concept, this is the follow up on it. But I want to do the whole thing, and I want to do it like very methodically. I want to I want to make this like an actual honest to god world record uh, attempt. That's what I'm going to try to do here. I'm going to try to do a, a real world record attempt. But if you notice down here, um, you'll notice that I am in debug mode. I'm in debug mode for exactly one reason, and I did it before loading in, so that way, you know, I'm not like hacking with it. I, I want to make sure that this is specifically um, a, I mean, I, I guess if I'm just doing Komei restoration, I don't care. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine, actually. I, I don't care about it. Uh, oh no, wait, I do want, cause I want to make sure that they get the extra, the extra happiness. All right. Yeah. I want to make sure they get the extra happiness. So what you're going to do, my recommendation is re-roll, um, this as much as possible until you get, I, whatever, I'm not going to waste your time. We're going to use a, we're going to use a pass fist. It's going to be a little different. I'm going to give up on, on Hokkaido cause I just don't care. Like it doesn't matter. I don't need Hokkaido. I'm not playing the campaign through the whole way. I'm just doing... Um, national militia I have mandatory service no all right we do specifically need this to be a jingoist so let's let's go ahead and use the console for what I need it to use it for you can do this without console all you need is for this leader to start with a jingoist ideology but I think you do need jingoist I don't think pacifist is right I think the fact that you you can't go into national militia which is like the reason that pacifist is good by the way like just aside from this video, which this one's going to be long. Cause again, I, this, if you're watching this video, it's because you want this to be a four hour video. If you don't, then don't watch this video, but watch the other one. The other one's pretty tight. <laughs> I try to, I try to stop myself like three times at, at the 22 minute mark. I say roughly something along the lines of that's the end of the video. And then I talk for another 12 minutes. Don't listen to the other 12 minutes. It's useless. Like it's just Walker talking to himself. <laughs> But but watch the first 22 minutes. Uh, but but what we're going to do is what you're going to do, which is you're going to just re-roll your leader over and over again until you have the starting ideology you want. And I just like, I, I'm not going to do this. I, like, I'm not I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to like reload a, a save over and over again. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kill character Hidetatsu. Igawa. I'm sorry, you're cool, but now we have a jingoist, and this is what we need. And you can you can do that too, right? You can reroll. The other the other things don't even matter really. Um, it's it's helpful when you get stuff like this, like royalist. That's going to be a little nice because it's going to give us a small bonus to our peasants, which is going to give us sometimes it's going to give us this little bonus. It's like it's handy, um, but it's not critical. This one's critical. You have to have jingoist. Um, then first thing you're going to do is you're going to do professional army. Um, and now, now what you're doing is you're, so the, what, the way this works, what you got to do to do a, a, a Komei restoration is you need to get rid of the Shogun. Um, so the Shogun can't be in your government. I, we're, I'm going to set this up again and I'm going to complain about it again. And you're going to listen to me complain about it again. And I'm sorry if that content bores you. It's just, it's the truth. It's the truth. I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to lie to you, chat. All right, so now we've got we got um, professional army being worked on. Can we can we speed that along if we add um, peasants? I mean that that all right. So right now we're working on this and it's being done in May of eighteen. That's a roll in May at fifty eight percent. That's okay. Um, I, don't, I don't know if if anybody else really deserves to be in government other than the samurai and the shogunate because like right now what we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to maximize our, our role versus like our role success versus role speed um and we could add peasants to dramatically increase our role success but it might slow down our role speed so if we add peasants um we go down to 68 percent legitimacy which means that instead of being rolling in may we're rolling in august that's trading three months, but it's adding that much of a percent. I'm willing to make that exchange because 58% chance. I don't feel very, I don't feel very good about our chance to hit a 58% chance, but I feel pretty good about our chance to get a 71% chance. That seems pretty good. I'm also going to immediately go in here and I'm going to just jack the crap out of military wages. I'm going to go to really high taxes 
Um, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do decrees. I'm going to do road maintenance. I'm going to go into Kansai. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click. And then I'll, I'll come back to construction after that. It, that's the basic buildup. Um, and that's that's August. And that I think I do want to make sure that I have enough authority here to maximize this past chance. We'll see what it. Oh, now it's September. Yeah, we'll see what it what it looks like. Um, so we we are gonna need um, now it's services and sin. It used to be that green tax was really good, but services and sin is is very powerful right now. So I recommend it. Um, so if we add T, then you'll see here that our enactment time goes down. Uh, our enactment time bonus, and now it's in the end of September, but that's 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 not very much for extra 2K. I'm okay doing that exchange. That's fine. Um, now, right, we could we could get more speed actually on passing these things um, by having a, a lower. Yeah, actually, I'll keep it like this because that'll that'll give me extra legitimacy, which will let me do extra that. Yeah, that looks that looks better to me. And now, so that's August. Um, what would it be if we did green tax now? September, that's fine. Um, so this means that now I have like a 71% chance to hit this at nine, at, at nine months. Uh, that, that's not like a perfect thing. And a lot of people will tell you it's not a perfect thing because they're right. That, that's not. Um, but that's going to, it's still going to be something that's going to, I think, maximize our, our uh, chance of success while also getting us the most in terms of value. Because now our uh, budget throughout is just going to be a lot bigger because we're just going to build a big economy. I'm also, because I'm just doing the Komei restoration and not the thing with the colonization and preventing myself from getting in trouble that way, I'm just not going to do colonization. Hokkaido is not necessary. I don't, I don't, I'm not playing this campaign forward. I'm just doing a Komei restoration. Um, and if you want to do a if you want to do a campaign going forward, then you research colonization first. Um, what what do I want to do then? Because um, I could do academia, and academia is usually pretty good. Uh, academia is absolutely necessary to pick up soon. But if you're not doing colonization first, you do have some options uh, like uh, currency standards is helpful. Communication is helpful. Yeah, communication is pretty good because because that gets you extra authority, which gets you extra taxes, which gets you extra ways to move um, to move resources around between pops. So as, as a broad conversation about what we're trying to do here, we're trying to remove the power of the shogun, um, and the and we're just gonna even if I miss this, I don't care, right? I like if I miss this, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep playing because. So, sometimes your first attempt you get unlucky but we're just we're just gonna play it out um shogun we need to get these guys down to where they're no longer powerful and they're no longer in the government um but of course because they're clout you can see here is just like all the goddamn laws every law in japan supports them um you you need to come up with a, a plan a very specific and actualizable plan for how to remove the support for the shogunate and that's going to come in a two-pronged attempt. You're going to do it via um, removing the laws, but you're also going to do it by Im imploring the pops that currently support it to move elsewhere. And and in this case, I don't know if this is a patch thing or like what, but like the the devout, they start with 125 popularity for some reason. I, like I don't maybe he's a historical character and I, I'm just an idiot. Um, that's that's very possible. If it is, I apologize to you because the like holy crap that's a lot of popularity and for the people who don't understand why that's a big deal popularity is the thing that's going to determine if a like it's the coin flip it's the weighted coin flip of does this arrest aristocrat support this government or this uh, ideology or another one and and the devout so so you're like let's just broad broad sp spectrum do it like you're like oh all right so we'll just switch the shogunate and the samurai out in order to be the industrialist or the intelligentsia no, nope, wrong. It's the Buddhist monks. I promise it's the Buddhist monks. They're so good. Because they, one, they start with this this madhouse of a character. Two, the Buddhist monks naturally attract uh, clergymen and aristocrats and peasants. And so you're going to be naturally poaching a lot of things from the shogunate just based off of the populations that they, that they attract. Um, and the Buddhist monks are tied up into your education infrastructure. So we're going to get, we're going to get universities soon. 
after mass communication um we just we just can't afford them at, at first we just need to build building and then we build the the university and i don't care about colonization because i'm not doing hokkaido i'm doing Kome. um the the uh, your Buddhist monks are gonna get outrageously powerful very quickly, even without any laws supporting them. And then, and then, and then, and then chat, they're gonna have enough authority on their own to be a, a government without anybody else for a while. After, after the shogunate helps remove his own power by destroying the peasant levies, and then, um, I guess now we don't even need colonial resettlement, but it's probably, it, maybe it's not worth it because usually you pass colonial resettlement because you need it for the purposes of, um, what, do you, what do you need it for? You need it for the purposes of colonizing Hokkaido and colonizing Sakhalin to avoid border gore, but it does cost, it does cost bureaucracy. And I, I hate spending bureaucracy on things that I don't want to spend it on. Um, cause I hate bureaucrats. They're just, they're, they're useless pop types academics are much better uh yeah well you know what we'll just go get professional army and that'll get us a huge 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 bonus on the uh the happiness of the shogunate and it should be enough for us to immediately after that um thank them for their service switch over to a buddhist monk government fire our army speaking of firing our army we are gonna um improve relations with russia because i just like i don't want to I don't want to have to fight anybody in this game. I that's not my goal. I, again, not my goal. I'm not I'm not here to do that. If you want to do that, then you can do that. And and you can follow this goal this guide with a little bit more um eye towards the future and you can add in colonization and stuff. That's fine. Um I I think that colonization is fun. But I want to I want to I want to world record this. I want to let's do it. We're we're losing we're losing rank. That's fine. Um did we did I forget to do some adjustments here? No, I don't like doing these adjustments until after we've built our tool factory. Once we've built a, a stack of twos here, then then you then you start doing stuff. Then you start doing stuff. And we're, we got that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I I apologize if this looks like it's not rehearsed. I just like I don't want to have to cut this up into different things and have somebody accuse me of like, well, use the Use the console here. I did not use the console here for anything other than avoiding rerolls until I could get Jingoist, I promise. And if you know how to play the game, then you know I'm right. Um, so why are we taxing grain? Did I go over this? If I didn't go over this, you can tax grain as Japan really easily because you just have, you start with an infinite amount of it. It's not that bad. Like it, if your grain is really expensive and you're taxing grain, then you're an idiot. If your grain is really is really, really inexpensive, because you have a ton of them, because you just have a ton of pops that make grain, you can tax grain. It's okay. Like the the peasants aren't paying that much in taxes anyway. That's like the advantage of tax capacity here. Ignore this. This is. I'm just gonna right click on that. It it that is that is a misleading tool tip because it makes people think that that's like a bad thing, but it's not a bad thing. That's a great thing. Ta tax capacity problems where you have a bunch of stupid peasants that don't make any money is fine because they like they need to be left alone that's most of what they do is they like they're there and they they make tiny amounts of things and that's that's it and and that's good and then right click that thing and then and then it'll never bother you again i like losing power rank is fine um can support more declared interests i i don't think we need a declared interest if we're just doing the run i might be wrong about that if you think i'm wrong about that and you can prove it then i'll listen to you i don't think we need it um and oh, oh wait maybe maybe we use it to you know we are going to use it we're going to use it on great britain because i also don't want to mess with them i just i don't want to mess with them like i i don't need this i don't normally i want to be able to spend as much infamy as possible in this run i'm not doing that i'm i'm just getting the coma restoration baby that's it that's it all right i'm feeling good is everybody feeling good is chat feeling good I hope chat's feeling good. I'm feeling good. I like, I love, I love this. I love this idea. I love this idea. Let's see, let's see how much we can do. So, so I, I, I had a conversation with Aldra Hill about this on his, on his stream today. And I, uh, I, I think, I think that, that this is going to be a, a, a competitive segment. I think there's going to be people who are going to, who are going to try to do this and, and, 
and not get there. And I think it's because they're going to try to take Hokkaido because they're going to think that the gold mines matter. They don't matter. You don't need them. They, you do not need them. I, if, if a gold mine event occurs, you will see me 100% of the time in game. Right click on it, ignore it, and then just move on with my life because I know what it does. I don't care what it does. I don't care about those pops. They're going to make me some money and then they're going to be mad that they live there. And that's their problem. It really is. I'm going to build infrastructure elsewhere and it's going to make them want to move there. And if they want to move there, great. That's why I'm building it. But I don't care if they still live there and, and there's no gold. I don't care. I don't care. That's their fault. They, they don't need to live there. There's, there's beautiful housing in, in Kansai. Oh, but, but Aldra Hill. Aldra Hill actually had a, a really, really, really helpful suggestion. I, there's no reason for me to build a uh, university all, all over the place. If I'm if if literally all I care about is is installing the Emperor Kome, then you build all your universities in Kansai. And the reason that you build all your universities in Kansai is because of the way the capital works. Uh, where where's the where's the little capital tooltip? Um, I don't I don't know where it is. There's there, it doesn't matter. There's a there it is. Capital state. Wait, universe, universal pop political strength. So that means that. Every pop who works in um, Kansai has an outsized impact on he, on this distribution here, and so the the more that we can transfer, we so in, on, on this note, we're probably going to remove these government government administration buildings because um, because they are going to be employing more uh, more of these stupid goddamn aristocrats. Um, oh, so aristocrats aristocrats but we are gonna still want some bureaucracy for the state construction efficiency as well as for the ability to do uh schools i want to be able to do schools like immediately after passing that so uh right now how much would i need are you gonna tell me i would need 311 yeah all right i can't really dismantle my bureaucracy right now but i'm not gonna add to it in kansai and in fact, if my industry gets fast enough, I'm going to remove all of them from Kansai, even though it's going to cause tax capacity issues. Again, it does not matter. I'm probably going to remove all, m most of them from there for this run, just so that way I don't have any, any aristocrats running around. Um, and then I can start doing it like over here somewhere. It, like anywhere, anywhere that isn't the capital, because I want zero aristocrats in the capital if I can, if I can get there. Um, and then that's going to involve removing a lot of the the agriculture here but that's fine because again we're japan we have a gigantic agricultural base this is the end of the tokugawa period we've done so much peaceful development that that our economy is about to explode and it's going to do interesting things to our society um it really is and and once we've done professional army that's that's when we're gonna that's when we're probably gonna remove our barracks from everywhere except for kansai again because of the political bonus there, I think it's worth to, to keep this barrack open. Um, you can see here officers and servicemen. That's just more pop types that that help me dilute the, the shogunate. I might want to build up the, the barrack there, actually. Uh, once I have a professional, that's another way to just, again, drown out. Just completely drown out the, the shogunate. Because that's another... That's another high tax, high wage thing. So we're going to do high tax, high wage. What is, ha what is high tax, high wage? Why do you say it like this, Walker? You're crazy. I am crazy. Thank you. Um, so high tax, high wage. Normally when you're working on laws, you don't want to be doing this. So I, I'm not doing it right now. Um, I'm not going to do this probably until after I've abolished serfdom. But once I've abolished serfdom, I'm going to switch into high tax, high wage. High tax, high wage means that I'm just going to take money from like absolutely everybody living in Japan. I don't care who you are. But then I'm going to turn around and say, hey, are you a bureaucrat are you an academic are you a laborer working in our infinite construction facilities that we're working with are you a soldier whose job got relocated to the capital well come on down we've got like we got some money from you we took it from everybody your brother's probably gonna be really mad because he's like why how did you get like money back from the government and you're like well because the government says that it's cool to be an academic and and that i should feel proud of being an academic and that here's some money for being an academic and by doing that, what we're doing is we're taking away clout. Because think about what clout is. Think about what clout is. Clout is, uh, is, this, is this thing here. It's this, is this political strength, which is going to be coming from your wealth of your pops, modified by your laws. So if you take away their wealth, you take away their power. That's, like, that's, that's really the, the, like, that's the nut of human history right there. 
<laughs> but uh but it's it's also it's true in this game i mean like it's so what you do you tax the crap out of people when you're not trying to do law stuff and then but you pay the pops who you want to still have political influence and you can just like you can dunk on you can dunk on the shogunate we're gonna we are gonna we are gonna do it everybody and i'm doing it again i'm you can watch the video again um the the reason i'm here the reason that i'm here with the, the debug thing is not to cheat it's literally just to reroll this thing and and i i hope you all believe that because this is going to be a really good video i think the people the people who want to learn how to how to speed run this are gonna watch this video a lot because I think this is gonna be a great speedrunning competition and I cannot wait to be a part of it. Um, but here we are, we're, we're doing Japanese Shogunate stuff. I, if I really valued my time, I could take this up to, t to speed five, but I wanna take this seriously and I hope you do too. And I hope that means that you're willing to like listen to me talk about clout and high tax, high wage strategies and stuff because that's what the game's gonna be. Um, so, so, so shogunates shogunate also so aristocrats and clergymen um i love i love i love being able to actually like interact with this interface but it's not it's not the best it's pretty it's pretty not the best it's pretty not the best it's you'll learn to tolerate it that's the best that's, that's what i'll say you'll learn to tolerate it um boy we're not going to get a lot of extra happiness um here but i don't think that the the law change um from there to there is gonna cause radical no they're not gonna they're not gonna rise up when we go to serfdom abolished so we'll be fine um and that's actually gonna require that we have peasants in charge with uh the buddhist monks so the peasants are gonna be the 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 linchpin actually holding the the government together after after the abolishment of the peasant levies and the transformation to the professional army, there's going to be a silent coup, and the Buddhist monks under um, Heihachiro Oshio are going to step in. So I'm going to give you a little bit of flavor of what we're doing too. I'm, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this speedrun, everybody. I hope you guys are going to are going to are going to love this. So we're Emperor Kome. We're not this person. We're Emperor Kome, and we are trying to get this idiot out of power. We're we're furious at him for one reason reason or another, um, and we don't care that much about like structuring Japanese society for the future just yet. That's my son's job. Meiji is the one who like really oversees um, the transformation of Japanese society to be more aligned with what was going on in the world. Um, he, like I hinted at this in the other videos, but like they, there's a, there's a very good cultural and economic reason that they shifted over wearing F, the Western clothing. And it's cause like the, people tried to sell Western clothing to China and then they said no. And then they came back and they destroyed their society. And so like, that's a, that's a terrifying thing that happened over there and so yeah duh you, you switch over to western clothing and that means that like consumer taste in japan changed of course because what is happening in upper crust society is going to determine what's going on down below and so of course that meant that there was a cascading effect and that there was demand for the product and that meant that great britain and france could actually and to that matter like you the united states could sell western clothing in japan and make money and that's what they wanted to be able to do right that's what they wanted to be able to do and then they were allowed to do that because of the the decisions that were made by the emperor meiji but he was not the person who began the conflict with uh the shogunate that began under the dude we are playing as today who is not pictured anywhere on the screen but will be in the thumbnail because we're gonna get him um he's the father and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna beat the the official like human like thing on the on the face discord within the intelligentsia yeah. uh no we want we want the highest in enactment six, six chance chance like always just always this hurts the intelligentsia yeah, and that's sad but i like it doesn't matter what it is i want the we got we missed a roll chat oh no we missed a roll there's an opportunity for an improvement like somebody can do a little a little ticker thing on the side and be like holy crap oh my god that's like minus 12 months ah it's okay i'm not i'm not too worried about it i'm gonna have a good time no matter what i'm gonna have a good time no matter what i might i might i might want to just get a little bit of enactment time back though because i just i don't really care that much about a little bit of money this is a couple of days and that that's in a world record speed run that's what that's a couple of days and that's what we're gonna do that's a couple of days all right so we're working on construction right about now um i think maybe i don't need an 11 stack in kansai 
I think a 10 stack's fine. Yeah, 10 stack's fine. And then after the 10 stack, did I did I remember to put on... I better have remembered to put that on. I, I'm going to be so, so mad if I didn't. All right, good. Um, <laughs> the one thing that you're going to watch me do in this chat repeatedly is talk about the importance of using road maintenance and <laughs> then forget to do it. It's just, it's just, it's the thing. It's what happens. Just, just roll with the punches. Uh, oh, right. Emperor Komei. We're talking about Emperor Komei. So Emperor Komei, he, he was the dude who was like the emperor during the, um, revere the emperor, expel the barbarians campaign, um, which should tell you his feelings about westernization. The, the man was not known as being a particularly liberal man, but he was furious with the behavior of the, the shogun at the time, whose name I, escapes me, but he was, he was furious with the behavior of the government going all, all the way back at an absolute minimum, um, to the incident where Commodore Perry came over and forced open the, the country. And, and it's because he, he wanted to resist the Westerners largely. That was the, the, the issue he wanted to fight back. Um, and Tokugawa, the, the, the shogun at the time, like did not think they had the political ability to do so. Cause there was a lot of stuff going on in, in Japan at the time. It was not just that like, Oh yeah. Oh, wait, we're supposed to be improving relations with Great Britain. Yeah. So we don't get, I don't want anyone declaring war on me. I'd like, I just want to, I just want to build in peace. That's what this, that's what this stream is going to be. Walker builds in peace, talks about the Shogunate, hopefully sets a world record on something and then, and then posts it on YouTube. And that's, that's going to be what I do. Um, I, 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 I sound outrageously cocky right there, but I, I think that I think someone's going to knock me down in 24 hours. I, I feel I feel like this is so easily done by someone that someone's gonna take the world record in 24 hours. I guarantee it. Um, but right now we're just building. We're just building. We're just building. Oh yeah, Kome, 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 Kome had a. Uh, ooh, France demands we become their protectorate. No, please don't do this. I don't want to have to read. I don't want to have to refill this. Uh, I just I just want to do Kome stuff in peace. Leave my economy alone. That that would be cheating, actually. I think that's cheating. I think if you, I think if someone asks you to become a protectorate and you say yes and you become part of their market and you use that to, to remove isolationism, I think that's cheating. If you want to do that, you can. But I, I think that's not a an any percent speed run. I think that's a I I I violated the central core tenet here and played as Kome, traitor traitor route. But if, if you want to do a trader route, you can. That's also probably even faster. I don't know. I haven't tried it. I I, I, I think there is no honor in doing so. <laughs> Walker, you're crazy. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing other than just like <laughs> being an insane person on, on YouTube? <laughs> we're, so right now we're building up a construction industry. Construction is going to be really helpful for us because it's going to let us um, actually like reinvest in our economy because we're taking a lot of money out of it right now um, to build things. That's okay. I, th I think building things is good. I think, I think when you start building things, you'll understand why it's good. It's just, it's very powerful. Um, we are going to want to, we are going to want to preserve our money though. I don't want to, I don't want to go like ridiculously into debt and then explode because that can slow down your ability to, uh, remove power from the shogunate. So how does debt work? Um, debt is this thing where it's owned by, it's like air, air quotes owned by um, buildings that have cash reserves. And so it's you borrowing against those cash reserves. So if you have a bunch of buildings that are owned by aristocrats and you have to borrow against their cash reserves, then all the interest that you are paying and therefore all of the money or rather all of the wealth and therefore all of the clout is going to end up in the hands of the whoever owns the the thing and in this case it's probably going to be an aristocrat just don't don't mess around with it like you can use debt if if you really need to but in in a in a speed run i suspect that the people who go massively into debt are going to have much worse much worse scores simply because they're going to be giving government money directly to directly to the shogunate which is just bad like giving money to the shogun is just awful don't give money to the shogun don't ever give money to the shogun um are we taxing enough stuff right now it kind of doesn't feel like it i i want i don't want to i don't want to have no money it does it does slow down the enactment chance here but that's fine I, it's fine 
I want to have money. I like money. Money's pretty good. Uh, wood and fabric. So, right, we're building up our wood, we're building up our fabric, and then we're going to build a little bit of um, industry, and Jesus Christ, Walker, what did, you, you already said, and then, um, Eric, this is a direct quote, I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, I haven't finished building, <laughs> I haven't finished building logging gas, like, I'm going to, I am 100% chat, I'm going to forget to do move road maintenance, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not there yet, I'm, I'm not there yet. Oh, man. Yep, so I'm just building. I'm trying to build a, a little economic loop that'll allow me to afford maybe five to ten universities on Kansai. Because if I can get like five to ten universities on Kansai and, and not have my economy just spiral into death, then I, I feel pretty good about my ability to get this done. Because Shogunate is a very, very fragile alliance of pops. If you can get... Um, intelligentsia and Buddhist monks pulling at the same time, you you you're just you're gonna destroy their base in terms of the pops there, and you can do that. You have a lot of influence, and if you don't have to be spending all your influence on taxing grain because you've developed your services, um, then then you can afford to you can afford to like really rip and tear. Insert Doom OST uh, below. But, but here we are, we're just, we're just having some fun time. We're doing some mass communication because I like having authority actually. I think it's pretty good when you're trying to do um, a Kome restoration and it, and it makes sense, right? The Emperor Kome is, is like fuming and he's, I want to make sure that I re, that I claw back all of whatever it is that I'm mad about. Um, and then I'm gonna, and then I might even work on nationalism after that. Nah, that's way too slow. I'll take academia. It's going to be communication academia. Academia is going to be very powerful, and you're going to see exactly why when we get there. Expensive government goods. This is, yep, I know. I know. You're right. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. They are expensive. I apologize. I'm working on it. I promise I'm working on it. I would never lie to you about that. Um, should we, for that matter, what? how much is our demand for hardwood right now? Do we have any demand for hardwood right now? We have... 20 for furniture okay all right we're not gonna mess with that that's fine um so yeah we want to definitely build up our our wood supply even more in tohoku probably because it's just it's just gonna it's gonna be a big multiplier on our cash reserves and and once we get to the point where we build uh universities i'm gonna be fine then um allowing my money to start draining down because by then if i have a bunch of wealthy uh pops in the capital working on a university with full cash reserves then whenever i start uh giving out public debt it's gonna start going to them and and that's that's a lot better for me so i'm okay running um running a, a, a net a net loss uh once once i have buildings that i want to give money to uh, or rather once i have buildings whose pops i wish to empower um diplomatic plays that's not what we're doing we're doing the decrees look look at me look at me chat i'm mr me seeks i only missed it by like three weeks like i jesus christ <laughs> just talking about this walker <laughs> oh man <sighs> yep there we go professional army you're coming so after professional army then we're going to be able to move shogunate out and samurai out and we're going to bring buddhist monks in and we might keep peasants here i think we need to keep peasants there actually in order to do serfdom abolished is that right so if you if you like really 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 want to cheese it then you probably want to reroll this until you find someone who cares about serfdom but i don't know if that's even possible and i'm not wasting my time um if if it is then there's if you're using console and it's possible to get one with with a thing that lets you get serfdom abolished as a, a big positive out of Buddhist, Buddhist monks, then this 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 world record will be woefully out of date because then you could pick up literal years. But that's I I'm I'm here to have fun, and I hope you're here to have fun because I'm gonna have fun. This is gonna be a blast. Uh, we are gonna build we're gonna build some stuff. We're gonna build some stuff. Hey, we got professional army. Cool. All right. So by getting professional army passed, that means that now there's no extra bonus for the law um, from the military for Shogunate. They've lost it. 
So now what we can do is we can shuffle the the law the everything around unless there's unless there's something else that we want to be passing. We we could pass the dedicated police force. That would be that would be a big fight. Absolutely not. Um, serfdom abolished. Absolutely not. We we you can you, if you also want to just get lucky, you could just try to roll serfdom abolished with shogunate in power. But it's it is. It is for the people who want to play the lottery. I think it's. I think it's not very good. I think this is a better a better uh, structure here. Yeah, because this allows us to just immediately start ticking on um, serfdom. So we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna go to serfdom abolished. And you're like, whoa. Well, normally that would make the landowners furious, and it does. It makes them very mad. But unfortunately for them they are about to run out of political power in the country very very quickly so we just we just did that we've got professional armies done so now we're just gonna like thank our army for their service we just need the money now i actually would prefer to have them from a clout distribution perspective which is why i'm gonna keep them in kansai um because again like they're gonna boost the samurai and therefore they're gonna have a pull to pull troops away from the shogunate um uh, but like that's it that that's it i'm just gonna go down to, to to kansai um and i think i think that's gonna be good for that setup and then we're gonna want to adjust our um our authorities so as i as i as i kind of hinted we're gonna drop uh the grain ta tax which is sad i will miss it desperately but the uh the ability to immediately come in here and start bolstering this and suppressing this is going to become pretty obvious pretty quickly i don't have any intelligentsia pops yet really um so i'm not worried about that can i get a hundred porcelain doesn't really tax for anything is a problem um maybe i'll just Maybe I'll just use that for ticking serfdom abolished. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe, 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 maybe. We will see. We will see. We will see. Um, I don't know if I covered this already. If I if I did already, I apologize. But for whatever reason, oh yeah, I must have. He just he's po look at this popularity. Look at, look how powerful my devout is going to become. So because what we're going to do. As soon as serfdom's done, then we can do um, schools, because you can't do schools when you have serfdom. But once we do that, then we can do religious schools. And religious schools is going to make it so that there's a 10% bonus on the clout for the Buddhist monks. So that's going to increase their total their total clout modifier. It's also going to make them really happy, which is going to make them like get all the nice little bonuses, including a giant amount of authority, which is going to let me increase taxes, because we all know that increasing taxes is actually pretty useful. That Maybe that's why we want to do that, just to take away their money. It's not, it's not, there's literally no other reason that we're doing this except to take away their money. And for that, ra oh no, we need the legitimacy. We need the legitimacy. In fact, it might be useful to just take this down, because we do need the legitimacy. And we no longer need the military wages to be good, because um, I don't care about the samurai really at all. Yep. All right. Yeah, we need the legitimacy. And and by gaining the legitimacy here, we're going to increase the speed at which we're going to tick through. Heck, you know what? Heck it. Right? We we built up we built up a we built up a cash reserve for a reason. So now instead of now it's April 1839 that we're going to start rolling um at a uh, bonuses on. That's pretty fast. I mean, I'm I would I wish it were faster, but that's pretty fast. Who else who else is in favor of uh ending serfdom this is where if we had a, a nice little bonus uh if we'd re-rolled the buddhist monks until they cared about serfdom that this is this is where the the big pickup is if buddhist monks care about serfdom in this in this and want to end it then you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get a ridiculously ridiculously short time on on serf, serfdom abolished it's it's gonna be really fast because you don't even need peasants in your government at that point you can have an insanely high legitimacy and your buddhist monks that you'll see they'll get really powerful in this they'll get really powerful in this it's just the nature of the thing it's just the nature of the thing you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna interrupt myself everybody i'm i am gonna i am gonna I am going to try to kill this guy just so, oh no, he's, his traits are too good. His traits are too good. So you really do need to just like 
re-roll this one over and over until you find one that has an insane high popularity plus something on serfdom. Good luck to the person who gets that. Your world record will probably stand unchallenged for a long time. Um, but it's not this video. This is, again, this is a proof of concept. If you want to be the person who re-rolls it a thousand times, do it. That's not what this is about. This is about fun. Uh, that, and that's probably not worth that much money. Ah, oh, it is, though. It's it's four months. It's four months, chat. That's a lot. Four months is a lot. So what we're doing here is now we're on low taxes. Low taxes is just going to dramatically increase the amount of legitimacy available to us. Uh, but it's not... Nah. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna go to we're just gonna go to low taxes, not very low, because very low, it it doesn't get to use what the other thing that taxes are good for. Taxes are good for two things. They're good for increasing your legitimacy when you have a a fairly unpopular government. Um, you know, if you have a fairly unpopular government and you want to get stuff done in this time period, then just like don't don't treat your people like 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 slaves. Like just treat them like human beings. All right. Authority. Great, we did it. Um, academia. And now with the authority, can we can we get more money somehow? Um, so that's 100. That's 2.5. That's 4. That's 300. Uh, it's like 6.5. That's, that's like about the same as grain, actually, when you add in the luxury clothes. That's not, that's not a big deal. We'll do luxury clothes, sure. The devout scandal oh 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 i don't know because part of the thing that's really powerful about this character is that he does have an insanely high popularity i'm gonna lose a little bit of it here but the insanely high popularity is gonna be really powerful when it comes to just like dispossessing the shogunate uh thing of of pop support so i i'm gonna ignore it if you wanted to high roll it and and like save scum that until you got again, a leader that cares about serfdom, then you would definitely outpace, outpace this video. Um, but but so we're just, we're just, maybe we go up to speed four. We'll go up to speed four. I just don't wanna, I don't wanna miss anything. I, I want this to be a pretty clean, a pretty clean video that I'm, I'm pretty happy about. Cause I like, I like playing really goofy on the main campaign. That's that, and <laughs> just like, I don't know. I don't know why I, 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 I surrendered to Ching with war reparations after failing one invasion. Cause if I'd thought about it for like 30 seconds, I would have been like, Walker, just recruit a whole bunch of generals. If you recruit a whole bunch of generals, the stacks will be a lot smaller. Then you can assign them to a naval invasion and then you can land. Cause your troops are just way better. They have way better. I way better troops. I could have destroyed Ching. And instead I gave them five years of growth for no reason. Cause I was an idiot. I like, I apologize. <laughs> like that's, that's what that, that's what the, uh, the campaign is about is, Walker doesn't always try to do um, the best the best gameplay in the universe. Some, sometimes Walker does the worst gameplay in the universe. Let's but let's let's speed it up a little bit. Let's speed it up a little bit. I, we're gonna lose some efficiencies by speeding it up a little bit. I don't care. I, I want the video to not be seven hours long. That's what I'm doing to you because this I am gonna post this in one section so that way no one can say well you clearly used the the console between things to do stuff i did not do that and i did not use the console to to get a uh, a buddhist monk who cares about um serfdom which which it would also be a big deal all right there we go bull taxes income taxes serfdom abolished let's get another tick on this because that would be really good that would be really good i would love that um and now that we're done building some logging camps we could build a couple of tool workshops down there um and then after a couple of tool workshops, we'll come back up and we'll build some iron mines. And then we're going to switch the, after after we've done that, we're going to switch the tooling workshops over to pig iron. Um, so what, what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to do, chat, is I'm trying to utilize the consumption taxes that I have in place, the ones that I think that are going to be good and are going to scale pretty easily. And I think one of the easiest ones to scale pretty early on and to therefore have a lot of extra money and to therefore run a lot of extra uh, academics is services. So a lot of people think about coal and they're like, the only reason that coal is good is blah, blah, blah. Nah, coal's really good all the time because coal 
turns into services as long as you have the ability to to burn it in your urban centers and you don't you don't really need that much to do that like you you don't need a lot you don't need a lot and you do need some and it gets you there and it starts up a little coal industry the cottage coal industry adds a little bit of coal that's what we can talk about we can talk about game mechanics this i'm gonna take this is gonna be if you want to learn how to play if you want to learn how to play vicky 3 then i want to make this that video and and th this is going to sort of be the tutorial and like i, I it's going to be extremely laid back but that's what we're going to do that's what we're going to do um so so right now we've built up some construction sectors construction sectors you use wood wood is a really uh expensive thing for us right now so we built a lot of a lot of wood to try to help out but the big thing that we're going to do that's really going to help us out in regards to the wood is going to be having saws so we're building up some tooling workshops, then we're gonna build up some iron mines, and the iron mines are gonna let us use iron in our tooling workshop instead of wood, um, which is gonna reduce the demand for wood, but it's also gonna increase the demand for iron, and it's gonna increase the production on tools. And that's gonna let us come over here, and it's gonna let us change this from using simple forestry over to sawmills, which is gonna increase demand for tools, and therefore increase the price of tools. And so there, and then we've created a lot of extra wood. And the whole bunch of extra wood that we've created will allow us to do a lot of extra construction on the cheap, because the price of the wood is gonna be largely, once we're at the point, it's gonna be largely us. Like, it's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of construction sectors using um, the industrial goods. And Japan is like really fortunate, because Japan starts with the, the, the holy trinity of, of early industrial goods. You start with a lot of coal, you start with a pretty reasonable amount of iron, and you start with a pretty solid amount of wood as well. Um, you cannot do wood forever, so it is important to start getting your iron mines online. But that's like that's what we're doing literally right now, right? It's 1838. We're building some iron mines. We're doing some stuff. We're building at 31 a turn. Once we get some iron mine, once we get that set that part set up, uh, then we'll probably go up to like a size 10 iron mine. Um, because I want to switch, I want to switch one of the construction sectors, probably this one initially over to iron frame buildings, cause that's going to also increase our construction. Um, and I like having an increased construction. I think, I think construction is pretty good. I think if you've never tried to have a whole lot of construction, then you should try it. It's, it's pretty powerful. If, if you are careful, it is very powerful. And I'm just, I'm now I'm kind of like feeding construction sectors in one at a time using alt alt click if you're if you are a brave person or a, a mathematical genius or an idiot streaming for for fun um then you can just like shift click everything or control click everything after a certain point in time but but you can feed you can feed construction sectors in one at a time by by alt clicking and seeing how that adjusts to the cost of your goods and stuff and i i actually do recommend that by just like having a solid loop fed, set up out back and then and then just and then just making adjustments, just make adjustments, make another little adjustment over here. And I don't even feel bad about like adding construction sectors onto things that I've already spent a lot of construction points on. Cause I'm not going to, that's, this is not going to be the end. I promise we're, we're going to build some more iron mines. Like this is not remotely how many we're going to have here. This is going to be pretty big. We're going to, we're going to build some stuff and, and, and the problem is that unfortunately your capital does not have um okay we could immediately to help jump start the development of this uh tool economy we're gonna we're gonna switch this over to sawmills which is an increase the demand for tools which is going to make it so that these tools start producing because if you noticed there they weren't really producing despite the fact that like everything was about to start getting set up but because it doesn't start hiring until there's like a demand for the tools you need some way to tell the ai of the the building hey you idiot wake up go get out there and get give me some stuff um and that's what it's doing it's going out it's getting you some stuff it's going to get you some tools and then you're going to have some tools over there and as this increases in size, so too will this is this thing's access to, to tools. And then uh, we got that. We'll do a little bit more and then probably another stack there. Actually, you know what? We don't, I don't think. Yeah, no, we should because we're going to need tools for construction. So we'll want a third, a third tool workshop there. 
Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Anyone who is watching the video has still possesses the ability to hear because I don't possess I Jesus Christ, you guys. <laughs> this is gonna be the best video I ever make. <laughs> so stupid. All right. Well, we got surfed to abolish in 1839. <laughs> that I think is a world record on that one. I'm not sure. You tell me. Um, I'm not fighting them either. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just clicking buttons. That's all I'm doing. I'm clicking buttons and I'm moving around support. Do I even need peasants in government anymore? I don't think I need peasants in government anymore. I think this is just now it's just Buddhist monks. Um, so Buddhist monks alone, we're going to go to no schools. That's, or rather we're going to go to religious schools. So the reason we're going to religious schools is that this is a, um, it's going to give us a big bonus on the devout bonus here um and it's gonna make the devout just happier and i just i like they're in charge of the government now i i just i think that that's that's what we that's what we have for them they're in charge of the government now and that's the way it is and if they don't like it then they shouldn't have taken control of the government but they are in charge of the government now um and you're like oh oh my god this restore serfdom but look it's 1839 and the strongest the strongest thing in my government is the buddhist monks oh my god also we have more authority we can tax people i love taxing people um <laughs> look at these taxes they're so they're absolutely useless absolutely useless all right remove that oh right we're at um we're probably at tea time yeah we're at tea time all right so tea time tea is really expensive and only rich goods or rich pops want them but because we're taxing everyone to out goddamn outer space uh, they just, they don't have any money to do any of that stuff anymore. And so they, they don't. And so they like, just, they, we just fire everyone who works in a, a tea, tea plantation. Cause they, they know they're never going to get their jobs back. Um, like there's, there's, there's never going to be the wealth necessary. It, it, we'll see as the, the tea price continues to restrict because the tea demand continues to restrict because we like psychotically remove people from their, the things they need to, to live. Um, and now, and now, and now, legitimacy, not important. Now, legitimacy, not important. Because the legitimacy of the Buddhist monks is going to be fine on their own. Um, and we're just going to, we're going to tick fine on things, right? This is fine. That's fine. I got no problem with that. That's fine. Um, and now, all right. Uh, I could remove two more and then I could tax grain. I, that's fine. I like that too. I like saying that's fine. I I apologize if it sounds boring, but I I do think that it is fine. And now we are we are closing in. We are closing in, chat. And you're like, what are you talking about? Closing in on what? Well, we're closing in on getting Shogunate out of power and not powerful. So if they're out of power and they're not powerful, then that's going to begin the ticking on the honorable restoration. So they need to be below a certain percentage in terms of their total overall clout. And by, by reducing their total overall clout, because we, we just tax everybody until they, they cannot afford anything and then giving money to the pops that we favor, uh, we, can, we can pretty considerably remove uh, the clout of the, of the, the Shogun. Um, we also have so many, we have so many bureaucrats here that I think I'm actually probably gonna fire a level of them um because that's just gonna remove some uh, aristocrats from the capital i just i just want to remove aristocrats from the capital whenever possible because i just i just hate them i hate them and i don't i don't want them i don't want them right i don't want you i don't want you i like i'll figure out how we're getting the money later just get out of here get the heck out of here why are you why are you not happy with me anymore is it because you have a thousand radicals because I fired everybody? Well, you know what? You know what? You know that I'm doing this for the good of the country. Um, boy, that was really stupid. I shouldn't have done that. I should have kept a little bit of silk around for the purposes of keeping this trade going. That was really stupid. That was really stupid, Walker. 
you just you just rolled super high and got a great roll on on serfdom and then are just a dumb a dumb butt don't don't be a dumb butt when you do this run run for yourself when you do this run for yourself and you're like wow i'm so great i'm the best i beat walkers walkers roll um just keep in mind that I'm an idiot and <laughs> deleted all of my agriculture like way before I was ready to build it elsewhere. Don't do that for another couple of years. You don't need to. You don't. You don't need to. And if you just wait, then like it'll be fine. I promise. Um, but we can we can do some. Maybe we can do some manipulation in re in regards to this. Uh, what can we do to increase? We could do max education. That would be okay. Yeah, we do max education. Sure. Because max education is going to let me just keep doing this uh, once we get religious schools. We just keep piling bureaucracy into the educational system. And that's going to make them really happy. And that's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. I promise it's going to be good. It's gonna, it's gonna make, it's gonna make the firing everybody look like, like it was intentional. But I promise it wasn't intentional. I'm just an idiot and I wasn't paying attention. But if you, if you are not an idiot and are paying attention, then you're probably having a good time because this is, this is We Play Games. This is a YouTube channel uh, that I am making stuff for. And if you like it and you want to do some stuff with me about YouTube and you want to do that, we could do the, the YouTube. I like YouTube. This is fun. I'm having a great time. Do some YouTube. What do we, what do we have in terms of our, our things? Is our, is our, are we not using? Do we have a billion iron over here built up and we're not using iron in our tools? I, Jesus Christ, Walker. All right. Breathe. It's 1839. We're fine. We got we got serfdom done. And that's the only thing that's important. It's the only thing that's important. Everything else will be fine. Don't be nervous. You can use the iron mines. So by using the iron mines here, I'm putting them back into the tooling workshop, which is going to be good because it's going to increase the pr uh, production here in regards to the tools. And that means that now I'm going to have a lot of extra tools. And so hopefully I'm going to be able to switch these logging camps over to sawmills. I like having my logging camps on sawmills as quickly as possible. I think it saves you a lot of money. Um, and that that's important because, you know, you, like you do have a finite amount of money in the game. And that's important. That's important to keep in mind. Um, do I do I not have any input code shortages right now? All right, I guess I don't have any input code shortages. Maybe maybe, I, maybe it was a programmer strat. No, I, it it was it was. I meant to do that. I promise I meant to do that. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> but it might have been right anyway. I don't know. We'll find out. We will find out. All right, cotton gin. That's fine. That's fine. I, like all these texts, they're fine. I like the. This is the only stuff I care about, though. They can keep passing all those, all those things. I, I, I applaud their efforts, but I'm going to ignore them. Uh, I'm building just one level of a tooling workshop here, right? Yep. Okay. And by building just one level of a tooling workshop over there, hopefully we will get enough extra tooling production to do this. And now all of a sudden our wood should dramatically reduce in price um, which is going to make it a lot easier for us to keep building uh, because we want to keep building we do um, and in fact i think we are ready to switch this over to iron frame buildings um, that is going to dramatically increase the demand for iron but we are currently working on that we have one more week for another iron location and then we're then we're running and it's 1840 it is 1840 we do have a university now, um, so I think I think the next thing after this is probably to pop down to Kyushu and pick up a little coal. Unless to Tohoku, no, you don't have coal. Tohoku does not have coal. That is that is unfortunate. Um, I wonder if Tohoku is the right place to start then, but no one has coal in. Oh, maybe Hokkaido is the right place to start. Because you don't need a gigantic amount of coal and iron, but you do need more logging than that. Yeah, there's probably... You can probably not do it on only one. Yeah, I don't think you can do it on only one. I think you have to two, choose two provinces to develop, and I th I think it's going to be Tohoku and Kyushu. Um, 
because I so so right the capital bonus capital bonus is very powerful you should use it you should not be like blinders up around it because the fact of the matter is that if you can build up a coal mine here and that allows you to build like services out all over, all over the place then you're gonna you're you're gonna have a good time I you just trust me on this one it it's gonna work great um tools is this the maximum capacity for our tools no, it is not the maximum capacity for our tools because we are currently, even now, we are currently even now running with a an input good shortage from Tohoku. It's 1840. We have 46 construction per turn. Um, I'm just trying to right now build up a, a nice little, a nice little re reasonable, um, we're going to build, establish a university. That's what we're going to do. Oh. I'm not researching empiricism, am I? Oh, you idiot. You need to build. All right. Chat, I apologize. You need to you need to build something before you research empiricism and it needs to be your university. So I'm going to I'm going to just go somewhere. It doesn't matter. Anywhere lathe is fine. Lathe gets you leaded glass and that's fine. But I actually cannot research this tech until after I have built um my my starting university. And my starting university, I I think I can go ahead and afford it now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a five stack. I think that I think that one of the the things that Aldra Hill was was correct about in in his playthrough is that if you're gonna be doing um, political manipulation, it really should be concentrated either in your capital or in your laws. Um, but I think if you're really just interested in doing a Kome restoration, then you just align yourself with the Buddhist monks. It's it's going to be super easy. It's going to be super easy. Um, I guarantee to your money back. And now we're going to build some coal mines after that. And, and oh my God, Walker, just like just once, just once, just once in your life, you can move. You can move the road maintenance decree. I've seen you do it before. I have seen you do it before. In fact, I have been the one doing it before. I'm actually not going to start with a, a size 5. I'm just going to start with a size 3 because that's the minimum required in order to fire the established university event. No, it's greater than or equal to 2, but I'm going to do a size 3. We can afford it, no problem. Um, and then we're going to switch probably after religious schools fires, which hopefully we get it on the first roll. Can we do it? G give me a... Give me a Give me a religious schools. Yeah! <laughs> what? <laughs> right, this is... This is an extremely stupid run right now. Um, all right, well, we could... If we, this is where we're going, this is where we're going. So let's go ahead and let's just... If we did this, it would radicalize the intelligentsia. Do I care about radicalizing the intelligentsia? I don't... I don't think so. I don't... I do not think so. And this would dramatically increase the strength of the Buddhist monks as well. All right. Well, Emperor Kome, you you want you want this, right? Don't you, Emperor Kome? You want to seize control of the government from the Bakufu forces. And so the leader of the of the the devout faction, the leader of the Buddhist monks at, at in Japan, has approached the emperor and been like, "Listen, man, I have the people behind me." And we're ready, and we're just gonna we're just gonna seize control of the government. Is that okay with you? And Emperor Kome is like, I have hated this dude my entire my entire life. I I, I cannot wait. Um, and that's that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, that's exactly what we're gonna do. That is exactly what we're gonna do. I don't know I don't know if anybody else out there is doing is doing um, devout runs, but it's right. It's correct. I promise. It's so much better than everything else. Um, and now we're enacting state religion. I don't know. Maybe we go, maybe we leave it here for now. Cause we're not even like burning money. We're, we're 46 build per turn at, at minus one. It's 1840. Shogunate is at 26%. Um, so can we, can, oh, after, after freedom of conscience, we should see if we can remove no, we can't do dedicated police force. What else? What else are they doing? They have monarchy, I think. Can we do theocracy? Uh, we could do theocracy. That would radicalize the shogunate, though. I don't want to have to fight a war. I like. I I'm having too much fun. Just I'm having too much fun just being an idiot on stream, guys. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. Maybe maybe that would be good. But this this feels really fun. <laughs> this feels like it's gonna be really good. <laughs> 
I I don't know. I don't know, man. I like it just it's just it just seems like it's going to be really good. This feels like maybe an 1854. This feels like maybe an 1854 re um restoration. And I feel very good about an 1854 restoration. I would feel great about uh, an 1853 restoration. I would feel pretty good about an 1854 restoration. I'd be pleased with that. And I hope that you're pleased with that. Uh, Cause I'm not, I'm not, I don't know about it. I don't know about that. Like we're uh, bureaucrats, God, bureaucrats. We could, again, we could remove um, bureaucrats from here, but I'm, I like the clergy. I like them. I like the clergy. I think they're powerful. And Emperor Kome believes, Emperor Kome also believes that they are powerful. If you believe that that Emperor Kome is the way, then 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 type that below. Kome is the way. I right, like that. That's the game. That is the game. That is Pokemon, and that is, and that is a fact. Um, so right now we've because we have a small group establish a university. Cool. Um, I'm gonna wait for this university to finish, and then I'm gonna resolve this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with society should be ruled by philosopher kings. Um, which is going to increase the politi political strength of the academics, which is going to um, help out the intelligentsia, which you'd think like, all right, why am I helping out the intelligentsia? Because the intelligentsia are about to be extremely wealthy and they're going to be very happy with us. And why that matters, again, is that we're about to, we're doing, we're doing it now. We're doing high tax, high wage. High tax, high wage is wealth redistribution and it's going gonna, it's gonna to dramatically change the speed at which you are able to demolish the power of the the shogunate because of the way clout works because you you uh you extract all the clout from them and then and then you beat them up and then and then you make them feel dumb and that's and that's the way it is um what are we what are we doing we're building things i think that's what we're doing yeah we're building things let's build after we build the that let's build this and then let's build i don't know like five more do we even need five more uh, sure probably i i feel i sound disinterested but it's because like really all i'm going to be trying to do is from here on out is making the um making the economy of japan as big as possible as quickly as possible because the speed with which i increase the size of the japanese economy especially because i'm like mostly not going to be building agricultural buildings i think that even if you're not doing this sort of run that like uh cash crops are largely bad the only cash crops i think that are even remotely buildable are the ones that are like um dyes and silks those are good dyes and silks and cotton those are good because they you use those in things and so the cost of them matters but like the cost of your luxury goods they do not matter your pops will find things to spend money on right think because think about what they are they're humans if humans discover that their luxury clothes are just like outrageously expensive they're just they're just gonna stop buying them and they're gonna do something else and then that's that's the way it is and you know that's the way it is and don't lie you know that's the way it is and accept that that is the way it is you make one thing expensive and you make another thing cheap they're gonna buy the thing that's cheap and that's gonna be fine and everyone's gonna be fine with it and and i hope you're fine with it because that's that is human behavior i have observed them that is what they do. Um, I completely forgot what we were doing, you guys. We're oh right, we're doing. Uh, this is we play games. I am Walker. This is a YouTube channel where we we play Victoria Three right now. I'm having a blast playing it. I understand why some people have criticisms to level at it, but I oh oh Jesus Christ, Walker, you got the event that required you to not take empiricism. And then you didn't take empiricism. What are you doing? What are you doing? And you're building things without road maintenance? I just, I, for shame, for shame. Type chat, type for shame in the comments. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just, just really unbelievable. You're unbelievable. You're unbelievable. I think that's a song. I'm pretty sure that's a song. Uh, we could build some government administrations in Tohoku. That's fine um because then they're not then they're not like in the capital and then we can remove some of them from the capital maybe because again the Alger hill is 100 percent right the pop the pops that are here are going to have this pretty big um bonus to their universal uh pop uh, political strength and so you want to have as few as few aristocrats in your capital as you can possibly conceive 
And that's going to involve demolishing a lot of stuff, but that's fine. De demolishing stuff is cool. The Shogunate is back? How on earth is the Shogunate back? What did they do? How did they do that? I don't know. We'll, we, will, we will investigate that as we continue to construct. Um, rural. We have coal mines. Urban. That's closed. We'll do the gas street lights. Um, and now we have a small penalty on our coal, but that's okay. Because we're about to finish another one, and it isn't even finished fully hiring. And that's increasing demand for the tools. And the tools are keep they're gonna keep going. And we're building another tooling workshop, which is gonna be good because we're gonna need them. And then we're building some iron mines. Um, and we're building some iron mines. And we're building some iron mines. How did they get how did they get these this this back? Did the Buddhist monk die? That sometimes happens too. Sometimes your Buddhist monk leader dies. And then you have uh yeah, that's what happened. That's that slows that slows you down a lot. If you're if you're starting leader for the um the Buddhist monk stays around, they're insane because he they have 125 popularity. They have 125 popularity, and that's just really insanely powerful. But again, in any speed run, there's some RNG, and I've hit really, really, really lucky things so far. So that that's unfortunate and it's upsetting, but I don't think it's a critical failure. I all right, authority. What else could we do to regain some authority? Do I care? Um, suppressing, bolstering road maintenance in Tohoku. I could I could just reduce the tax here actually to to speed this along because I think what I want to do also is um, bolster the intelligentsia, but not bring them into the government. And that's going to draw pops away from the shogunate as well. Because the shogunate has, again, to reiterate, aristocrats. We can probably use uh, some, some more um, troops in the capital, actually. So we'll expand, the, we'll expand the size of the economy for a little bit. Um, yeah, so maybe, like I said, maybe 54. Um, and, that's, and that's fine. And that's fine. And that's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. What are we doing? We are doing it. That is what we are doing. We are recording what is now um, an hour and 12 minutes long, um, but we have done some stuff along the way. We've done some stuff along the way. We've gotten extremely lucky on a couple of rolls, but we've we've leaned in the correct the correct direction. And unfortunately, while also being like well set up and and rolling very luckily on a couple of things we have rolled very unluckily on something we've lost the the original ruler for the buddhist monks we've gotten insanely lucky on almost everything but that one if you keep the 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 ig leader here alive you'll you'll feel it you will absolutely feel it because what's going to end up happening with 125 popularity the entire country is just going to follow that leader very quickly. And so all of the extra little things where you're like, well, how do you get the pop away from the thing and then, then adjust the thing? It doesn't matter. They're, like, they're just going to... All of the pops are going to start just doing whatever it is the Buddhist monks want them to do. Um, and then and then that's it. But unfortunately, that leader has died and that's allowed the shogunate to like claw back a little bit of power. Um, I don't think it's going to be enough. I really don't think it's going to be enough. Because we're going to... We're going to get empiricism, and then we're going to be able to increase the size of our education, um, and that's going to continue to increase the strength of the Buddhist monks. We're also going to keep building our economy, and we're going to keep building up the size of the university, and the university is also going to help us build up the strength of the, the Buddhist monks and, and the intelligentsia, who are indescribably furious with us right now. Why are they so mad? Uh, oh right, because because <laughs> we're going over to a state religion. But you know what? It you know that this is for the the greater good. And don't don't lie. The emperor has declared. The emperor has declared. All right, we are we are moving. We are moving. We are moving in the right direction. I believe. I believe. I believe. Um, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe that I am spending my influence 
to avoid what would otherwise be an annoying and messy war. Um, all right, we have the ability to keep adjusting here. So who else do you have? You have monarchy, hereditary bureaucrats, and local police force. So who wants to work on dedicated police force? That would be peasants and samurai. Okay, I could work with the samurai on that. We could we could bring up the cloud on the samurai pretty easily. Um, the only the only difficulty is that if we have a, a partner in government, then our legitimacy is going to be non-existent. And in order to to start passing laws under those that circumstance, you do have to go in there and like uh, and uh, sh shoot. What do you need to do? Oh my god. Um, uh, cheesy Pete's in order to get to, to dedicated police force, which is going to be a lot better than the local police force in like every way it is going to radicalize the shogunate. All right. Well, maybe we, maybe we bring the shogunate back for like a reprisal just so that they can like click colonial resettlement, pass it really fast. And then we fire them again. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. <laughs> I would, I would, I think that would be pretty funny. <laughs> we, we might want to do exactly that. All right. Um, we're going to build a tooling workshop. We're going to build some more coal mines. Um, and are we, are we running coal everywhere? We are running coal everywhere. So you don't need that much extra coal. Just a little bit, just a little bit extra coal. Because we want, we want the coal to not be expensive for the government to buy. The other things I don't really care about, but I don't, I don't want to be paying more for government stuff. Government money is the only money. Um, and now I'm at the point where like, I clearly am not paying attention to my road maintenance anymore. And so if you're a pro gamer and actually good at this, you can use it, but I'm not going to, I'm too lazy. So I'm going to do this instead. I'm just going to tax clothes. That's money. And I want your money and give me your money. And that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. The pro, the pro gamer out there is probably like rolling over and screaming in fury. And that's okay. That is your right. That is your right. Leaded glass. Jesus Christ. That's why you're rolling over and screaming. Duh. Because Walker's a dumb butt and he forgot that he was working on leaded glass. I, what a, what, what an amateur. What an amateur. I just like, unbelievable unbelievable right we're working on steel too all right so the next thing that we're doing is we're going to pick up a little bit of a little bit of lead here uh, enough to start switching around this so this is going to cost 10 lead um this is going to produce 20 lead so we only need a couple of levels of lead mines in kyushu if you want to be building faster right now you can be you absolutely can be um, I might, I might just do exactly that to be entirely honest. Cause I do have a lot of wood right now. Don't I, I feel like I should, I do. Um, so I'm, I'm building a little bit of construction sectors here. You maybe probably should have done that first. I, I don't think you need to like five stack it, but a couple, a couple of wood that gets you state construction efficiency. It's not a bad thing. I promise. I promise. It's not a bad thing. It's good. Low government legitimacy. I, I know. Trust me, I know. I know all about the low government legitimacy. I caused the low government legitimacy, and I would cause the low government legitimacy again and again and again and, and, and again and again and, and again, just like so many times. No, no legitimacy. I don't need legitimacy. Oh, we've got iron and we've got tools. Iron and tools. We got so much iron and not enough tools. And right now we're working on the tools and hopefully that'll that'll fix that. But the other thing that we're gonna do that I need to like take a step back because we're working on the right now. Why am I building so more? Why am I building tools? Why on earth am I building tools? I'm an idiot. Don't build the f don't build the fifth tool. Don't do that. Just play better. Build steel mills instead. Because then, when you get the tech, you can just switch this over to steel tools, and that's pretty good. So you need 80 steel in order to do that. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. The the UI here is so stupid. How do I... <laughs> I don't even know what this is going to add. I don't remember what this is going to add. I, like, 
it just baffles the mind. All right, let's find it. Um, industry steel mills. Get. I can't even do it because I'm in in this mode. All right, well, this is going to be a skill issue test right here. I, I think I can start with one steel mill, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It might be, it might not be enough. In which case, all right, so I need coal and I need some iron. I've got plenty of iron. That's cheap. Um, coal we're working on right now. Lead mines we're working on right now. And the reason that I'm working on lead mines right now is because I want to switch um, these over to market squares because that's gonna generate more services and the services, again, I'm taxing services. I think largely services and sin to, to reiterate, you guys are gonna hear me saying the same things over and over and over again, because I like, maybe I could have I could have live streamed this. I think this would actually be great live streaming content. If you wanna see this as live streaming content, post below. I would love to live stream this. I think that would be fun. Um, ta clothes are just like not very efficient versus sins, because um, that's, that's 8,000 and that's around 8,000 too. All right. We have state religion. Good. We have state religion. And now the Shogunate, we are still working on tearing your clout down. Aristocrats and clergymen. Aristocrats and clergymen. We are going to holster. Uh, actually, can we... Can we get more money somehow? We can get more money somehow. We can do more taxes. And more taxes is actually usually pretty good. Because it, it does reduce the amount of money that your enemies have. And if your enemies don't have any money, they can't put up like a reasonable resistance. And that's what that's what the Emperor Kome is all about. That's what he's all about. He's all about just like, I don't know, he's got... He's got some kind of deep-seated hatred for the the shogun for some reason, and he's gonna he's gonna fight him over it. We're gonna fall behind, unfortunately. Like the fact that that we lost our starting leader is actually gonna be a really big deal. The people out there who do this are gonna are gonna are gonna confirm it. But like, if you can keep your starting um, ideology dude alive, he has an insanely insanely high popularity. It's it's really. It feels bugged, honestly. It feels like it might be an accident, um, and so it's just, it's just, it's just bananas. It's just bananas. Working on mechanical tools. What are we doing? What are we going to do with our mechanical tools? Well, we could, we could go over here and do um, some banking. That wouldn't be bad. I wouldn't hate doing some more banking. That would be fine. That's money. And, and I'm kind of at the point where now I just want to start working on my money. Maybe we pick up railway, but like we don't, we're not even particularly close on infrastructure demand here, right? No, not really. We need cash. Um, and so, yeah, we'll build the one, we'll, the one thing of steel mills here. 1.6 million peasants is still a lot, like a lot. Uh, and, and that's going to help a lot too in reducing the strength and, and cloud of the, of the shogunate. What laws are we working on right now? We got we got state religion passed. Um, I don't I don't think I think if you pass this, it probably breaks the the restoration chain. So I'm not going to do it. Maybe it maybe it doesn't. If you've if you've used it before and you can confirm that no, in fact, it does not break the restoration chain and and we can use it, then I'd love to I'd love to practice with with that as well. Um, but I I'm this is just we're just we're just doing this. Uh, da, da, da. where are we going to build some more glass? I want to build a little bit more glass because glass is good. Glass is being used by the government. Um, and anytime you can reduce an expenditure on a government good. Oh, it's not yet. Oh, it's not yet. Oh, are we building tons of extra tools yet? We are. All right. So now, now everybody, we can go through and, and make, um, good substitutions and we can do things like turn on butchering tools um, and sawmills and fishing trawlers, twa twallers, tea wallers. Uh, we will we'll have to wait on the lead. We will have to wait on the lead. Lead is coming. Promise the lead is coming. 
and then um, as soon as the mechanical tools are done, that's seven to ten months. And at that point in time, the steel mill will almost certainly let us know if we're going to have enough of it to support the the level five tooling workshop. Which again, I think I might have been too greedy there. I think I think that might not have been the right amount to build. Um, what else do we want to build? What else do we want to build? Because we want to keep building. Because the more we're building, the more we're reducing the strength of the shogunate. Um, and so we'll we'll build a little bit of textile mill, I think. And again, I, yeah, maybe we do just go straight into um, just urbanizing Kansai and just get railroads here and just go crazy. I think that's probably it. Oh, if that's it, then should we should we be running um, the migration campaign here? Maybe. We might want to be running the migration campaign there, but I'll wait until later. I'll wait until later. I'll wait until we have this built up. Um, so Kansai, we can keep building things here because we we will we will want to switch this into iron frame buildings. So we need another hundred tools and five hundred iron. Um, so we have a lot of iron floating around. We we have a lot of iron floating around. It's because we're not building anything. That's why we have a lot of iron floating around. Once we're building stuff, then then we won't. Tohoku, you're maxed out, basically. Um, Kanto. Kanto could build some iron mines. That's okay. Yeah, you can build some iron mines. I got faith in you. I got faith in you. You can build some iron mines. You're not going to mess it up. Build some iron mines. And you'll be like, wow, you're right. I didn't mess it up. You are... Absolutely right, Walker. Did not mess it up. So I was too sanguine. I there's no way without the leader here, there's no way we're gonna get it by 1854. But I now we'll probably get it by 1860. But that's still pretty good. I feel like, and that's like the when the the actual event fires, not not Shogunate. I think we'll have Shogunate as non powerful by 1850 guaranteed, and I would not be surprised if we get there before then. Um, but that's kind of dependent on on some randomness now because we are. Our, our secret, our, our golden bullet, our magical golden bu bullet is dead. He did die, and he died very young. Um, and that's a, that's a big problem. That is a big problem. So right now we're bolstering Intelligentsia, reducing Shogunate. The Intelligentsia are really mad because we have done, we have done a lot of, Chidi face stuff here. 38%. 38%. Yeah, I think I think theocracy breaks it, so I'm not gonna do that. But let's build up a let's build up a little economy. Did we build we built the steel mill. We built the steel mill like six months early. That's 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 very silly walker but that's okay that's very silly but that's okay what is one level gonna get get us at max it's gonna get us 65 at max and if we switch all these over then we're gonna need 100 so we that means we the one level of steel mill does provide enough steel for the tooling workshops it's gonna be expensive though so i am gonna want a second level of steel mill but that's gonna give me an outrageous amount of tools and it's also gonna dramatically increase the price of the coal um so i'm gonna build some more coal like immediately after after doing that um, that's also going to give me more steel than I need for the tooling workshop, so I might be able to come back and uh, increase the size of it. Um, but I'm just, I'm just going to do that. That's fine. It's 50 construction points right now. That's not, that's not world record pace, but that's fine. We're, we're doing fine. I'm having a good time. This is interesting, and we're just, we're just making some progress here. Just making some progress here. Just making some progress here. Gas streetlights, hardwood. Oh right, we can increase um, we can increase the balance for tools demand once once we have steel tools and we have a ludicrous number of tools because we're in steel tools, so our production is going to be insane. Um, we can we can increase demand by just having people work on rice farms with tools. That's fine. We can, we can do that. That's fine. Um, 
we're still doing okay there. Still doing okay there. We could do... This is the only cash crop that I would ever really recommend people buy. It's okay. Oh, we could do pulping. What am I doing? We could do pulping after that. Um, and then vents from pulping. We're getting romanticism. Which I think is a pretty... Pretty not great uh, research right now. It doesn't matter. It's not, like, bad, but it just doesn't do anything. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're building. We're building. We are building. We are building. We are building. We're going to need... We're going to need some more bureaucracy, actually, so that we can increase that, because that's, that's another thing that's going to be helpful, is just making sure that... Um, that the uh, religious things are up and going. We should do that too, actually. We should do, we should definitely have done that already. We should have switched into a charity hospital. Um, we need medical degrees for that. Oh, we need medical degrees for that. Okay, well, after after the steel tools, we will get medical degrees. Because yes, we do want to get um, a religious a religious uh, institution law support there. That's, that's, that's more spew. That is more spew. That is more spew, everybody. That is that is another opportunity for you to pick up. A get get lucky and don't have this person die, and B get good and don't forget to get medical degrees pretty soon, because um, then you can run medical things and that's good for you. And now we have steel tools, and now we can switch over to steel tools, which will itself increase demand for steel, which is itself going to make the capitalist laborers, machinists, and engineers stronger. I mean, look, we're, we're, we are, we are working on them. We are working on them. And now we probably actually can afford to increase the university size. Um, that's okay. Yeah, we can do that. We can work on the size of the university. And do we have a ton of extra iron? We have some extra iron. I don't know about a ton, but we've got some. It's 10 turns for the nine turns for the steel mill over there. But it's still hiring, right? Yeah, it's still hiring. It'll be fine. Romanticism. Yep. That's cool. Um, leave them be. Yeah, leave them be. Absolutely leave them be. And the intelligentsia are also going to get powerful, and that's fine. We would welcome them in government. So it's 1844, Shogunate are at 26%, and falling. And you can see here on our clout chart that there's a big jump back up. That's because our, our favorite boy died, and and lo we lost our great sucking sound. Um, but he's we're still doing fine. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that this is an opportunity for you at home to gain a, a huge step up. If you... If you um can not mess up or miss that that roll if you can get if you can get lucky you can get a lot of extra speed here i think in 1853 1854 is very 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 doable um and we're building a construction sector and then after medical degrees we are going to build uh or, oh we need to do engine and then railways all right yeah after degrees we're doing engine railway uh you know what no we'll just do engine railway and then we'll come back for degrees I, I like this is a speed run. We're just, we're just, we're just seeing how fast we can do um, the Kome restoration. We are still recording. It is an hour and a half in. We it is 1844. Here we are. The uh, the shogunate has lost control of serfdom already. We are currently in a position with the the devout where they have a lot of cotton authority and we're trying to push cotton authority over their way instead of the shoguns we're employing high tax high wage um which is a video that i a, a thing that i talked about in my other video there's a, so i have a proof of concept video for this um and then this is just sort of like the the other thing the only reason that i am in console that that you can confirm by checking at the beginning of the thing i went i went ahead and i just uh killed the starting leader for the the shogunate over and over again until um 
until I got one with Jingoist, because that you need that. You do need to do that. If you don't do that, you're not going to be very happy. Uh, can we fire you without causing the Shogunate to get indescribably furious? Maybe. Minus two, that's fine. I don't care about that. And what we can also do to manipulate things is we can recruit... Oh, look at that. Sweet. Now I'm just going to recruit... Um, sure. Absolutely. Samurai? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Like, why not? Do either of you guys... Royalists? Okay, we got a royalist in the house. And we have a moderate. We want the royalist. Sure. Um, more Buddhist monks. Absolutely. All right. So we got a bunch of we got a bunch of Buddhist monks and stuff. Um, and now we can now we can increase the size of our bureaucracy a little bit. Uh, and what that'll do is it'll let us promote some people and and like show off how cool the how cool everybody is. Everyone's so cool. You guys, this is just so great. Um, here we are. Where where are we? We're in traditionalists. Are we doing who who do we want to who do you want to boost? Who do you want to boost? I guess we'll promote you, right? That's fine. We are promoting. We are promoting. We're just everyone everyone is gonna get exactly what they want here they're all gonna get the best jobs everyone is gonna be like everyone's like titles are gonna be as ridiculously insane as like a, a middle eastern dictator in the in the 1980s every everyone everyone here is supreme commander ultimate invader greatest person rah 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 like they just you guys are the greatest the absolute absolute greatest generals why am I doing this? Because it's I like I don't value my bureaucracy at a certain point. It just doesn't really matter that much. As long as it's not negative, um, then I'm fine. And what this will do by promoting everybody like this, um, they all are gonna get interest political strength, which is also gonna help draw away from the shogunate. Um, I probably should have done this a lot earlier. Actually, I apologize for that one too. I just look. I'm. I did not script this out. I, I made the first video because I knew that something like this was possible. I sent it to some content creators and see and tried to check if anybody wanted to make it. But like everyone's busy, the game's really new. I don't I don't I don't think that it is I don't take it personally that no one no one responded other than Aldra Hill. And I I really appreciated my conversations with him. He's very productive if you haven't if you have not checked out his YouTube channel, um, I will try to remember to put a link in the description. Um, and if I forget, then somebody let me know because I, I, he's a cool guy. He's a very cool guy. And I think that everyone should watch his channel. Um, but like, <laughs> I, I, couldn't, I couldn't wait anymore. I want to do this. And unfortunately, that means I'm not recording any Manifesto Destiny today because this is going to be just long. Um, Yes. All right. Let's diminish the Shogunate's power. Awesome. So at 1844, we're getting the diminished power. So like I said, we're not... Okay, so now we're more on track for maybe 56 or 57. That seems that seems doable. I'm going to... That seems, that seems very doable. All right. So we want to um, make sure that the Shogunate gets even smaller. So the Shogunate currently is at minus four. So if we did this, it would put them at minus five. And if we did that, it would put them at minus six. That's that's the same. Um, and so this one has a chance at minus 10 legitimacy and that one has a chance at minus 10 legitimacy. So they're the same, both of these are the same, but although this one, this one makes you less mad, but, but also worse at, at attracting. I don't understand. Maybe there's a secondary, maybe there's a secondary event that pops up after this. Let's go. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. All right. Well, let's see. We've got money. We've got money coming in. Um, we've got money coming in. We've got money going out. We've got moving mo money moving around. We need, we need more money though. We do need more money. We do need more money. And so in order to acquire more money, we're going to have to do some building. And building 
is going to need to concentrate around the things that are useful. Um, we could... We could continue to just, just go for it. Yeah, you know what? They're, that's fine. We don't need... We can we can drop some some of these taxes. That just doesn't. That's no money. That's absolutely no money. I don't care. Livestock ranches. Yes, absolutely. Livestock ranches. Those are really good, actually. Um, hardwood production seems pretty bad, and and I'd like at least a little bit, just a little bit. Paper mills. Oh right, the doy walker. You need to build some sulfur mines. People like sulfur mines. Post in the chat if you like sulfur mines. Let me know. Like, like, and subscribe. If you like sulfur mines, if you like sulfur mines, like and subscribe. Because that's, that's really what the channel's about. The channel is really the, the, <laughs> this, this whole, this whole thing, this entire, entire thing has just been an incredible opportunity for, for me to, to see who likes sulfur mines. Cause, cause you know, I just want to, I just want to get in contact with those people. Um, this, this is so stupid. <laughs> I was watching this right now. Um, sulfur mines. So in order to do, uh, our paper switch over, which is what we're working on, we're going to need, um, 70 sulfur mine. So or 70 sulfur, which means that each level is 20. So I'm going to, I'm going to want three levels of sulfur somewhere, um, for it to remain a reasonable price. It doesn't matter. I'm making this move. I'm making this so long for no reason. I'm making this so long for no reason. And that's, and that's what I guarantee that if you come back to this YouTube channel, that is exactly what you will get. That is exactly what you will get. You will get Walker just like hand wringing and hemming and hawing for absolutely no conceivable reason. Absolutely none. You're like, what is the value or purpose of any of this conversation? None. The, well, no, that's not entirely true. The value and purpose of this entire thing is that, like, by doing it this way and just talking the entire time, I avoid, um, I avoid dead space in the audio. And I just, I hope you understand that I, I love playing this game so much that I refuse to do any editing at all, at all, at all, at all. I'm not going to do it. And the people who want me to do it, I don't think have my best interests in mind. Editing... Editing is for no one. I like the people who do editing are gods and and the they should they should they should have magic powers. And if you don't think that that's true, then I just like I don't know what to tell you. I do not know what to tell you. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. It is 1845. Shogunate is at 15%. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. <laughs> All right legitimacy authority i you know we could it doesn't matter the the authority allows me to do a little tax and i like doing little taxes it just it's important to make sure that they know who's in charge um you know if you don't if you don't tax them then they 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 start getting a little uppity they they're like they're like all right now now finally we have the financial resources to repel the emperor Kome's forces now nah, i don't think so bud but check this out it's 1845, and we have progress on the honorable restoration <laughs> chart. We're going to hit it June, unless something horrible happens. Unless something horrible happens, we are on track for June 1855. Um, and so that's that's the video. Like, I, if you want to stop here, um, I wouldn't blame you, because you're not going to see anything else. You're just going to see me building a lot, because um, I like building, I, I enjoy the game, I love building things, it makes me feel really good, I like building things. Um, in my, in my, my USA campaign, Manifesto Destiny, I am, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm building an empire, I am building a religion, I am building it bigger, oh my god, it's, it's so crazy, I'm not playing well, but that's fine, I'm having fun, and I hope you're having fun, here on We Play Games. I'm Walker. I'm, I love this game. I I also love Crusader Kings 2. I also love uh, I love I love the After the End fan fork mod for Crusader Kings 2. So if you like this and you and you and you are like a subscriber and you want to see me play the After the Ends fan fork when it comes out for the um, 
for Crusader Kings 3. I want to play it. I think that would be fun. I'd love to play the the CK3 version of, of After the End Fan Fork, even if they don't have the Yudko Dynasty, because I want to do a Yudko Dynasty playthrough with you guys, because I have some pro strats. I, I got some pro strats that they're going to help you. And you're going to be like, wow, that is... You're right. You're right, Walker. That is a pro strat. I never would have imagined that you could do that with, with the Emperor Yudko. And you can here on We Play Games. And, and, and this is the point in the, the video where the people who are like, all right, I've had enough of this. I, I know where we're going. We're going to a June 1855 Kome restoration. And just like 10 years of this idiot just talk and 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 just talk but 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 for the people who want that experience then then you're here you're here on the the walker is just going to talk at you station and i think you're going to have a great time i don't know about this one right here like the education thing i could i could go for education i really don't need it anymore because the shogunate is so unbelievably weak um uh, I mean, I, I guess I could, but I, I do like the, I like the construction efficiency bonus too. And you got options. You got options, kid. At this point, you can build things and you can just build the things that make you feel happy. And that's what we're going to do. The things that I'm going to build, if you don't understand how to build stuff, I'm going to, I'm going to teach you what you're building. Um, that's what we're going to do for the next 10 minutes, the next 10 years. If you want to learn like the more detailed things, the things that I was thinking about beforehand, um, then let me know. I got it. You got it. Everyone's got it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my buddy. My buddy. My buddy Don. Or no. Yeah, my buddy Don just did a wellness check, which is which is great because I, I usually go to a bar all the time. Um, but like I've really been working super hard on this YouTube channel recently and, and I haven't been showing up at the bar. But like I I need to do this. I I think this is something that I could do and I, I'd love to do it with you guys. Um, but the, the bartender was like, dude, I haven't seen you in like a month. Are you, are you alive? I am, I am alive, but I'm working on a YouTube channel right now for a video game that I love. And, and I will text him back and I will make sure that he knows that I am okay. And that I appreciate that he asked, but I the, look, man, I like, I'm building, I am building stuff. Look, I'm building stuff. I'm building stuff. I'm building stuff, I'm building stuff. I'm building stuff, I am building stuff. But the, hey, look, we're gonna do it in June 1855, and that's with our Buddhist monk leader dying and with me forgetting to do the general promotions, which which confirms exactly what I was said in like the middle of the video. If, you, if you're good at this and you take it seriously, you can do 1853. I promise, I promise you can do 1853. You have to get really lucky, but you can do it. Yeah, I promise you can do it. Um, and Ah, uh, cheesy crap. Cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers. Steel mills and coal and iron and so many things. All right, yeah, let's build some steel mills. Uh, all right. None of this is necessary, by the way, for the, the remainder. All you need to do from this point is keep the Shogun from getting back to um, the necessary amount of clout to be considered powerful. Um, and then just, and then just build things, build whatever you want, whatever makes you feel alive, whatever makes you feel like you're in touch with a, a higher mechanical power. And in this case, the higher mechanical power is the, the terrifying Lord of Glass, the terrifying Lord of Glass. Can you resist the power of the Lord of Glass? <laughs> I'm also Skylar, Skylar texted me at the same time. I am human and I like trains, which is just... <laughs> this is great content i know you know this is great content otherwise you would have turned this off already and and you knew you knew what what we were doing um all right the popularity is bad intimidating interest group members that's fine that's that's not going to be around forever and this uh this opera opposition interest group approval i don't really care about i'm just we're just building we're just building stuff now we're just building stuff now and we're seeing how big we can get our gdp now because all of the things that you normally have to worry about, you don't have to worry about anymore. Because because here we are, we're just building stuff. Um, we could bring the intelligentsia in, but that's still not going to really help. Um, if we switched over to a national militia, 
that would radicalize the shogunate so no we're not going to do that we just like we don't need to do anything at this point we just need to build things and have fun that and that's what we're going to do we're going to build things and we're going to have fun yes 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 look at this look at this we're going to build some glass and then oh boy we're going to need to build some clothes oh boy we're going to need to build some clothes um yeah we can build some clothes here that's fine Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't matter what things cost, but like sometimes you're just missing out on free taxes and that's what that's telling me. But that's also kind of what this is telling me. This is, this is the number that that's going to help you. Don't think about that other stuff. There's all these UI problems right now in Vicky three, just ignore the, the things that are dumb and do the things that are good and, and hopefully they fix stuff and then, and then you'll feel great and everyone will feel great and we'll have the best time and I'm building luxury furniture, I guess. What? I guess. Sure. Yeah, we could build some luxury furniture. I, that's cool. Uh, textiles. In order to build this with the fancy textile mills, we do need to build more silk. So if we're building more silk, then we are empowering the shogunate. But this is one of these things where at a certain point, it might become useful to do it anyway. Because what you can do is you can, you can turn it from somewhere where you're starting to empower the the shogun because oh wait not not there you idiot there's too much this is why you need to get this is why you need to get um railroads because like you can build big cities and when you start building big cities oh cheese cheese and crackers cheese and crackers if i if if again if you really wanted to make this progress really quickly then you would probably and you wanted to play into the, the late game you'd probably pick up colonization first but you don't need to it's it's you do that for the people who care about borders and I, I just i just want to win i just want to win that's that's all i want that's all i want and that is that is the game that is the game in case you've forgotten where we are right now is for the next 10 years i'm going to keep the shogunate out of power but it's not going to be that hard because like what we're going to do is we're just going to like identify things that the that all right. Yeah, Shikoku. This is a great opportunity to talk about this. So, uh, Shikoku has access to silk plantations. Um, and if I just build a little bit of, of silk plantations, then that's like probably not good because that means that now there's something valuable uh, for the aristocrats to work on. But if I build a lot of silk plantations, then that what that means is all of the silk plantations will crash each other's uh, prices. And so the silk is still going to get made because they're still going to be making more money working on the silk plantation than they would on a subsistence farm. Um, but but now, now they're building um, wealth for the people who own textile mills primarily, right? Because if they're building, if they're, if they're making uh, silk plantations and there's not a big demand um, for, for, for silk, or if the silk demand is like not as big as that, boy, we really don't even need all that silk, do we? Um, that's, just wasted, that's wasted construction points at that point, Walker. You know that's wasted construction points. Don't waste your construction points. There's a pro oh Jesus Christ. Oh no, we don't want to build it in the the capital for the we want to we want to like really really juice this. We don't want to we don't want to give them anything. The the shogun can go suck it. That's that's the that's the playthrough that I want to tell you about cuz I I had a fun time with it day 1. Um but I knew that that was not the best that I could do with Japan. This is the best I can do with Japan. I could probably play a little cleaner, but like I the best we can do with Japan is going to be very good. Um cuz you don't have to you don't have to worry about the rest of the game. You don't have to worry about the rest of the game except for like the internal structure of your society, which is a beautiful thing. And then the moment that you have to start interacting with the AI that doesn't know how to use the economy like at all, <laughs> then it can get a little frustrating. But that's 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 okay. That's you know, it's a very new game. And and Wiz is a very, very, very good builder for AI. You if you have not played games that Wiz has worked on, then I like I just don't want to hear your criticisms. I really don't. I like he's he's a good guy. He does good he does he does he does good product. Um Che che cheesy Pete's. We need to get we need to get railways. We need to get railways. We need to get railways. What's the deal with railways, huh? 
All right, we've got some wood, some lead, and some dye that could be used there. I'd be okay with that, and that would that would be all right. Yeah, let's do a little bit of glass. We're we're doing a little bit of we're doing a little bit of some things here and there. We just got atmospheric engine. We're gonna get railways. That's gonna be pretty good. You guys are gonna like railways. Railways are pretty good. You guys are gonna like crystal glass too. Actually, we probably want to get crystal glass before we get railways. That's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all good. It's all good. Twenty four months actually. Yeah, twenty four months. It's all good. We're gonna. We're gonna we're gonna build Kansai. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be really big. We're, it's gonna be really really big. And you guys are gonna get so 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 impressed. And if you want to see less impressive gameplay and like just way more idiot gameplay, then check out my campaign. It's fun. I'm having a fun time. It's uh it's a, a manifesto destiny. I'm doing the Star Swarm banner. The 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 Socialist Party of America has won on a campaign platform of of trying to maintain peace until 1866 but it's 1865 and we're building a pretty big navy and uh it's got a lot of ironclads and monitors and stuff so we're about to just start like declaring war on the world 1865 world conquest i mean like it's not actually a world conquest i'm not gonna finish it there's no way i i love the game too much to spend the entirety of it um clicking puppet waiting for somebody to to fold because we we mobilize like six thousand troops with our conscripts but but I think I think you can do a world conquest with USA in, in current position pretty easily. I think you can do a world conquest with France pretty easily too. France uh, just needs to do a war goal against the UK and steal the East, the East India Company. Also Ching, obviously, like like extremely obviously Ching. Um, if you don't understand why Ching would make for a really easy world conquest, then my recommendation is play them. Also, I want to apologize that it sounds like generally I've been leaning away from the mic too much. It's just natural for me, and the setup on my table isn't great because I take this super seriously. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Here we are at speed three. I'm going to kick us up to speed four. I, I'm, not, I'm not super worried about this exploding at this point. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. If you have, if you, so this is a part of the academy. Um, where I want to encourage people to just like share information with each other and talk about things. And if you have any questions about the game, then I want to hear about them because I want to make videos about topics that people care about. And right now I'm making videos about topics that I know people should care about. But if there's something that you care about right now, like um, the balance, the cost balance on clothes being so high, I could make a video on why that's not that important. It's okay that I'm building more um, textile mills. I don't mind that fact, but it's not the, like the biggest deal in the world. Cause what this, what this is, what this is right over here, this is a, a good that is consumed by your pops. Um, so your pops, they have got like a bunch of different things that they need. And one of the things that they need is like basic heating and like goods and things to prevent themselves from dying. And clothes is gonna be one of those and they have to buy them. But like, that's your pops problem. That's not your problem. The stuff that you pay for, that's your problem. That's the stuff that you want to keep the costs kind of down on, which he says and then realizes that he's completely destroyed the budget. Um, this is, again, not the best gameplay in the universe, but we could we could decrease government wages. That would be fine. We're not going to... The Shogun, it's at 13%. They're not coming back. I, I promise they're not coming back. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, oh, yeah, right. The clothes... That's your pop's problem. They'll pay more for clothes. Whatever. Y you want to care about the things that you that you need to buy. So like your wood uh, and your paper and your iron and your tools. Those are That's your problem, right? That's your problem. And you want to make sure that you're not paying through the nose for those things. Um, but like, as long as there's no input, go to, good, uh, input shortages, you're fine. So what, what else are we doing? Oh, Intelligentsia are furious. Why? Oh, right, because I reduced the... I reduced the the, the payout, um, but they're not currently trying to overthrow the government, and that's all I really need. I just need them to not be overthrowing the government, and then we're done. And then we're done. It might make sense to back off on taxes if we figure out a way to do it. Um... Railways might be the way. That might be the way. Railways are pretty good. If you've never used railways, they are pretty good. 
what time are we at? Boy, this is this is two hours in. This is two hours in. This is like this is probably what thirty minutes after this video stopped being interesting. So if you're still here, I want to know why. Why on earth are you still watching? Not that I'm offended. I'm just I'm genuinely curious. Anyone who gets to this part in the video, just tell me whatever you want to because I, this, there are like fifty four subscribers for the channel right now. I, I, I'm not going to learn everybody's names. I, I, I can't do that. I'm not good at it. It's not my skill. But if you have any questions and you ask them, I will do my absolute best. And, I, and this is a promise. I will do my absolute best to answer them to the absolute best of my ability. And that's a guarantee. That is a guarantee. Um, yeah. All right. Right. I got to. All right. The, the game can take care of itself. Um, I'm just, I'm just texting Don that I'm making a YouTube channel and it is a lot of fun, but a lot of work. Sorry, I didn't leave a note. Yep, I am. I'm making a YouTube channel. This is fun. I love this. I, I, I hope that, that the people who are still here, um, are getting something out of it other than just like something to fall asleep to but even if that is what you're getting out of it that's okay i really don't mind like if if there's some if there's someone out there somewhere out there in the universe who is so truly dedicated and insane and i am gonna go on speed five now because i really just don't i i just want to get this done on the tape like if you if you're here you almost certainly know that i'm not cheating and the reason the console is up is because i'm lazy because if you've played this game enough to understand um, the importance of Jingoist on your Shogunate starting ideology, then you understand that although I got insanely lucky on rolling on things, I didn't get lucky on everything. Having your Buddhist monk leader die early is a big deal. And that 1853 or 1854 is a 1,000% doable. And, and someone's going to do it. And this video is going to be probably the thing that gets them to do it. And I'm so happy about that. I really am. I'm, I, I love this community and I love what we're doing here. We're, we're playing YouTube. We are playing YouTube. And, and I kind of, I gotta, I gotta level with you. I gotta, I gotta pee. And this is going to take a long time. So I'm going to, I'm going to mute the, uh, the mic here. And, and in true, in true fashion, in true spirit, in true fashion, um, I, you know, I'm not going to edit it because we can't do that. We cannot do that. How on earth would you ever edit this, this video? How on earth would you ever edit this video? What would you, what would you take out of it? What, tell me, tell me chat. What do you, what would you take out of a video about Walker just telling you that after two hours of drinking coffee and showing you exactly what you need to do to do a world record uh kome restoration run um all you need to do is like and subscribe and uh and tell and and talk to each other talk to each other because i also want to make it clear that i did not get a pre-release copy of this game and so there are going to be an awful lot of things that i'm going to get wrong along the way and so if you know that i'm doing something wrong tell me um, again, I want to, I want to thank Aldra Hill. He watch, watching his attempts. It was interesting because I, I'm certain that the devout are correct, but I'm also equally certain that he is correct, that there's, there's literally no reason to build any of your, your universities anywhere else. And there, and we should probably do a little bit of math to figure out what like the best cost benefit is on like when you're supposed to build your universities and what order and stuff. Um, but we're, uh, oh shoot, what are we doing? Oh man, I really do need to pee. So just like, if you, if, if I'm going to, I'm going to mute the mic. Um, I, I'm not really building anything right now. Am I? No, I'm just going to, I'm just going to build a little gold reserves up because it doesn't matter. It's all fine. Everything's fine here on the YouTube channel. We play games. I'm... I, I'm I'm really like I'm deliriously tired right now just because I've been thinking so much about the content for this for this channel and so excited to be working on this channel and just really thrilled to be doing this um but at the same time at the same time at the same time 
I really need to pee. Um, so I'm just, uh, it's. All right, welcome back. This is it. We're still doing it, but the 1855 date is it, it's looking more and more and more guaranteed. And by 1855, I don't mean that's when the the emperor is or, or when the shogun is not going to be strong. I mean that's when the emperor is going to return. The emperor Komei in this in this universe, the emperor Komei was an incredibly incredibly capable character and just 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 like completely outsmarted the the Tokugawa character. Because the the um, the Kome character in this playthrough did some really smart things, and if you don't, if you're not sure what really smart things the Kome character did, I'm not really sure either. Because I feel like I've been possessed by a demon, and that's that's always the right way to play Vicky Three. I think that's that's probably my opinion is one that will be shared by few people, but but I think the best way to play this game is just like. If you've ever seen Battlestar Galactica, then you know what I'm talking about. The um, there's a character that is attached to the the spaceships, uh, and they're they're just amazing, and they're the best. And and we're not we're not making the Buddhists angry. Sorry. Sorry. The uh, the ships of the the Cylons are are. The ships of the Cylons are flown essentially by Helena Targaryen, except it's like cybernetic Helena Targaryen. Um, yeah, all right, whatever. I like at this point, maybe I should build an, an army in the um, in Kansai just so that way no one declares war on me because that would be really annoying. Like that, that would be really annoying. I don't want to. I don't want to have to fight anybody. I want to be able to talk about whatever I want to talk about. And in this case, in this case, what I want to talk about is Battlestar Galactica. So if you have not seen Battlestar Galactica, this is an incredible show. The best show. If you, if you, it really, it really is Skylar. It's the best show. And if you want to borrow it, you're going to have to come over and get it. Cause if you think that I'm doing anything other than like filming stuff for the YouTube channel or hanging out with Eileen for like the next month, you're insane. Cause I'm not doing anything other than that. That's it. That's the only thing that matters. And, and we'll get back to, like, normal Walker being a normal human, but you know how it is. Like, what do you, like, expect that Walker's not going to just disappear into a game of such complex madness as this? I, this is amazing. This is just amazing. It's incredible. Um, yeah, we can build some more. We can build some more. I just, like, I really just don't want anybody to declare war on me because I really don't want to have to, like, think that hard about what I'm doing anymore because we've already accomplished the loop. Like, that... The Shogunate is literally never coming back. They're at 9% and it's 1848. They're, they're done. They're done. They're done. Um, we need, however, to ensure that we are going to be not attacked by anybody. Open diplomacy. Yep. I just don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to get, I don't want to get this close and then have the AI just lose their mind and attack me for some reason. Cause that would be really sad. I, I mean, I, sometimes that happens in, in, in runs like this, but like, I would be really disappointed. Um, we could do, we could do banking. We could do banking. That's okay. Bessemer process is also pretty good. 
Uh, crystal glass for glass works. That's all right too. Yeah, we do glass. We could do glass. We could do glass. I like glass. You guys like glass? If you like glass, let me know. I I like glass. It's pretty good. It it generates. It generates money for you, I think. That's probably what it does. I'm so hungry. I'm so tired. This is this is Walker sleep time chat. And 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 I think this is exactly why I like the current structure of my my YouTube channel. Is that on like days where I wanna play Vicky 2 or Vicky 3, but I don't wanna I don't wanna be a screaming maniac. By having the academy here for me to do fun things like this, I can do fun things like this. And then whenever whenever I wanna I want to be a screaming maniac. I have the outlet for that too. And I love that. I love that flexibility. It makes me feel so good. Um, yeah, you know what? We don't need this consumption tax. I don't need negative authority. I don't, I don't really, I don't really need to play the rest of this, but you also don't need to watch the rest of this. And so if you're not watching the rest of this, then it's because you're here to, to talk about things. Um, I love Princess Mononoke. I, so I love soundtracks and stuff. I, it's, that's one of the things that I just, I really genuinely love are good soundtracks, um, which is why I love Stellaris so much. The soundtrack in Stellaris is one of my very favorite soundtracks. Although I will say, I think probably now the um, soundtrack for Endless Space 2 has, has displaced it in my heart. Because Endless Space 2's soundtrack is, it is an absolute goddamn banger. And if you don't agree, then you probably have not read it or listened to it. Because um, it is, it is truly, it is truly, truly, truly outrageous how good the soundtrack for that is. Um, but on, on that note, we have built railroads and I have not built, I've not built a motor industry. This is something, again, if you're playing well. Um, you can build a you can build a motor industry when you when you start researching like when you're like midway through researching your um, your railways you can do that it's it's better I'm just I I'm just and I I I apologize for sounding disinterested it's just that like the video really is done at this point and and I don't really feel like I need to do anything other than just let the three people who are listening fall asleep very quietly and I I like that I like that. Um, no, again, we're not, we're not really messing with anything. Um, he'll lose a little bit of popularity, but the Shogunate, again, it's not, you're never going to be powerful. You're never going to be powerful ever again. There's just no, there is just no way. And I hope you know that's true. I hope you know that I am not lying to you and that there is absolutely no way. There's Chubu, there is Tohoku, and so each of these is going to consume, I, I think it's like 20 or something like that. I don't really remember exactly how many how many um, uh, motors we're going to be consuming here, but the motor industry is going to be constructed, and then I want to I wanna let it um, start filling with, uh, with the trains. So we're going to get trains too. We're going to get trains. People like trains. Give me a chugga chugga choo choo in the chat if you like trains. Um, this is this is it. This is this is what we're doing here. We're just we're just making content. We're just making content. We are we are letting Eileen take a nap because I told Eileen that we were gonna that we were gonna go um, that we were gonna go play Pokemon Go and instead I, I started talking to Aldra Hill and then I just was like I need to I need to make this video. And now I'm making the video, and now you can watch the video. And you can watch the video where? On the We Play Games YouTube channel. And and again, again I want to make this clear. This video is very over at this point. I am doing this to do two things. To demonstrate that, one, I did not, like, open up the console at the end to cheat. This is, like, there, I think anyone who understands the game understands that that is not what I have done here. But I'm sure that there are stupid people on the internet because I'm not a fool. I like I know how the world works, and so if I didn't show the rest of it, there would probably be some dummy who would be like, "Oh well, you know, Walker did blah blah blah." And no, I didn't. I just I just played the game, and if you, and if you want to play the game, and I played the game and got insanely lucky. That's the other part of it. I can't believe this was the first take. I really cannot believe that this was the first take. I was not probably gonna do second takes. I think I think the only thing that would make me do a second take is if I like got 
halfway through passing professional laws and then the leader stepped down and then the thing collapsed because then I, that's stupid that's you know that's really dumb and then you and then you redo it but as i mentioned there are some there are some little things that you might that you might gain some bonuses on um like if you can get buddhist monks if you can get buddhist monks to have a starting ideology that makes them care about removing serfdom then you can get removing serfdom more reliably. I got removing serfdom very early anyway, but and I want to make I want to make sure that everybody understands that I understand this. I got insanely lucky on the first roll. I think I hit it on like 30% or something like that, which is still very high, right? People usually don't they're like, "Oh, you'll never get that high on the first roll." Yeah, you you will. If you follow Buddhist monks first, ra ra ra, you will you will absolutely absolutely get a good roll on your first roll for for serfdom but 30 percent still doesn't happen that often and they're kind of slow rolls because your legitimacy is pretty low and so if you miss it then like it's kind of it's a big deal um should i uh nah i don't i'm not i'm not i'm not adjusting anything over there uh i like i just i'm just clicking on i'm just right clicking on things i was talking about battlestar galactica at one point yeah, let's talk about Battlestar Galactica a little more. It's a great movie. It's a great. It's a great TV series. It's a great. It's a great. It's a great. It's a great. It is a great. And if you know that it's a great, and you want to tell me that it's a great, then we've got we've got the thing for you. We've got the thing for you. Um, ah, shoot. All right, Samurai. Like, this is not a lot of money. Um, yeah, you know, let's talk about some stuff. Let's make this educational in addition to like just Walker talking absolutely nonsensically for no reason so why don't i care that much about gold well like it's just it's annoying for one there's a lot of pop-ups and i don't like pop-ups like that i i wish that there was a better reason for that i just they're annoying and i hate them and i want them to go away which is why in my my uh my user interface video i encourage them to allow us to like drag things together so that i can put all of the the low um, priority things that I just like don't care about. I just want them to be somewhere. So like, oh, for instance, low market access, I want to be able to drag this out and just drop it over here. That would be really handy for me. Cause then, then I like, cause at the beginning of the game that you'll see that there are things and same with input code shortages. I want to drag both of those out and just pop them right over here bloop, with like a little symbol. And then, um, and then that's cool and it'll be cool and everybody will be cool and everybody will be cool. We are, we are on track still, chat, for a June 1855, which, believe it or not, means that we are only at two hours and 16 minutes. This, I thought this was going to be like a seven-hour video. I, this is going to be three hours, um, which, yeah, if I didn't, if I didn't hem and haw and I actually, like, planned a little more, you could also do it faster in terms of, like, real, oh, what the, what in the heck? What in the he what in the heck happened here? How did the Shogun get so much clout all of a sudden? Um, all right, we need to get rid of we need to get rid of local police force, I guess. Um, so we need to go over to dedicated police force because they just those jerks just cost us. Um, so we could reform into an intelligentsia. Uh, that would be okay. And yeah, that's fine. We'll reform it into intelligentsia and we'll switch over to dedicated police force. Oh, Walker, 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 Walker. What, what happened? How did they get so much clout back all of a sudden? Did somebody, did another leader die and somebody has more, more popularity now? Cause that's, that's annoying. That is annoying. That's probably what happened though. Uh, aristocrats and clergymen. Uh, you are all oh, right. Cause this guy, this guy, this guy is a dummy. That guy's a dummy. Well, this is going to be really interesting because now all of a sudden it's like, no, oh my God, he's not going to make it, but he will because now I can just, I can just build the universities up a little more. Yeah, I'll just build the universities up a little more because what the university is going to do, it's going to do, it's going to do high tax high wage. It's going to do high tax high wage. And that's gonna again. That's high tax, high wage is a very powerful way to do a little bit of a little bit of economic tinkering. Um, and you're just and you're just doing a little bit of economic tinkering. And this 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 whatever it was, I don't know what it is, but whatever it was, is gonna cost me like three months. 
maybe four. I maybe maybe it's gonna cost me like maybe it's gonna cost me like maybe it's gonna cost me until eighteen fifty six. I that's possible. Like that was that was pretty stupid. I don't know how they got that high that fast, but they did, and that's that's what happened. Um, and and that's okay. I should have passed this. That's what I should have done. If I just passed that, then I don't think this would have been an issue. I was just greedy. I was greedy and lazy. So if you again, if you want to beat, if you want to beat me on this on this run, I think you can. I think anybody can. I think as long as you're not greedy and lazy, you can do it. As long as you're not greedy and lazy, you can do it. Dedicated police force is being worked on very, very, very slowly. This this is the thing that would actually have adjusted things pretty quickly too. So we'll just work on a little bit of bureaucracy and then we can then we can then we can work on stuff. We we're we're gonna go into debt. It's gonna be kind of inevitable, but at this point it's actually kind of fine because now the debt is being gonna it's gonna be owned by pops that we want to make powerful and that's gonna help fight back against the the um the jerks over here all right we'll do we'll do nationalism that's fine we'll do, uh, no we'll do central archives i like that one because that lets me upgrade my uh my government administration um which will let me upgrade education pretty easily um ignore it that's fine Actually, what am I going to spend all the bureaucracy on that I get from centralized archives anyway? I don't think there's anything. I'm just going to do banking. I like. I'm maybe I'm wrong, but like I don't. I just don't think I'm going to get there. January 1856, and we're and the shogunate has has stormed back for some reason. Um, Kansai, are you high enough in terms of your? things here your expectations are pretty well met pretty well met the party will never end the party will never end the party will never end and as we as we build into hoku as we build into hoku we will continue to advance into the future we're going to need some more tools which is in turn going to de increase demand there. And when we're going to need um, a motor industry, we should just build the motor industry here. We should just build everything here. That's, that was stupid. Why did I do that? Because I wanted to build, because I wanted to build in Kanto, sue me. I wanted to, I wanted to build things in other locations. Like, what do you, what do you want me to do? You want me to lie to you? You want me to lie to you, chat? I built over there because I wanted to spell that, to spread out some building because I don't want to feel like, I don't want to feel like a bad guy in this, in this. I feel, I feel like, I feel like a good guy. I feel like a good guy. Um, is that, is that as big as we can make that by orders for, I guess we could do another 10 stack here. How are you getting so powerful all of a sudden? I like, what are you doing? How is this possible? What are you getting clout from? Is it that I'm not taxing your tea? Is that the problem? I'm happy to tax your tea if you think that's the problem. Oh, god damn it, Walker. You, god, Jesus Christ. All right, you know the other thing you can do to, to help to help out with your, your clout? The thing that I literally showed you and then forgot to do for a year because I'm just, I'm just not paying attention now. <laughs> I'm just not paying attention anymore. That's 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 the truth of it, chat. That is the truth of it. I am just not paying attention anymore, and that's and that's making for bad content. And that means that that again, I've challenged you, chat. One of you, one of you out there is gonna make a video of you beating me, and you're gonna do it, and you're gonna feel incredible, and you're gonna be able to post it. And I guarantee you're gonna be able to do that, cause. Cause this is not even the best, the best that this uh, could be done. This is not even close to the best that this could be done. And the people who know that, they know that. They know that this, this idea is so much better than this execution that it's not even funny. Cause I'm just like, uh, I'm tired and, and, and I love this, but I'm very sleepy and, um, 
and this stopped being like anything other than a foregone conclusion a long time ago and now i'm just building up a giant army why, why, walker why did you forget that why did you forget that you you sacrificed like you've sacrificed like a whole year you dummy like jeezy peets jeezy peets jeezy peets um army recruit general are there any other that are not samurai because the samurai are like cool that's fine but i you know yeah, i guess we could just we could just we could just recruit the samurai into outer space that's the other thing that we could do to increase the their clout because now we, they are on high tax high wage and we do have professional army so we can we can build we can build some barracks um yeah we can build some barracks and we can recruit some generals we can recruit some generals i just want to finish this i just want to finish this so that way there's a there's an actual date that i can post on the video <laughs> I, I don't know if it's still watching this or no one is watching this or if i if i'm still i am still recording thank god um that would have been really annoying that would have been really annoying that would have been really 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 annoying that would have been really 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 annoying all right we are we are gonna have a very powerful army now i guess um because we're bolstering the samurai and they're gonna start attracting away from the shogunate as well below 20%. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Show me. Show me your moves. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You have to know that I'm not hiring either of you. Not hiring either of you. All right. Well, that's what we got. That's what we have. The, those are our generals, and that's what we got. I can't believe that I'm just like gonna show everybody all these tricks and then like just completely refuse to write them down and not use them correctly and then <laughs> and then that's gonna be that it's gonna be very goofy. All right, um, we got some minting. Um, that's okay. I like minting's pretty good. Uh, what else could we do? What else could we do? We could do some more steel, I guess. If we got Bessemer process, that wouldn't be bad. We could also just like literally build nothing. I don't, we don't need to be building things right now. Building stuff is optional, but I guess not if we're trying to reduce the power of the Shogunate, we gotta build, we gotta build, build, build. I don't mean to sound bored. Uh, it's just like, this is, I'm, I'm trying very, very hard to, to maintain my cool because because this is this is uh this is a very a very important thing right now for me. Could get I could go towards electrical generation. That'd be pretty good. I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be central banking. Cuz we are going to start piling on debt. We are going to start piling on debt and I don't know about that. Samurai and Shogunate. Jesus Christ, Shogunate. What happened? Did you get a good a good leader? Did, is that what happened? Did you get a leader who's popular? 110? 110? Are you kidding me? 110? No wonder this is going so badly. You have 110 popularity? That's, that is a, an incredible uphill struggle. Oh my god. So again, we were on track for a June 1855 but somehow our shogunate, um, the IG leader, got just a million popularity from something. Um, probably just one of the, the little things that popped up over here. And with the bajillion, bajillion, bajillion uh, popularity, is starting to suck up all the pops that we've done so much work to push out. Um, and so I like there's there's a lot of RNG when it comes to speedrun, and we've gotten some really good RNG and some really bad RNG. And I don't really know where we're gonna fall anymore because we we missed the we missed the really sweet window, which was gonna be 1855 because of because uh, of getting unlucky. 
and that's annoying. That's that's really annoying. We are still able to make process, progress here. Um, how much how much transportation do we have? Because we can recover that way. We have a big positive balance on transportation. We could do we could do um, we could do we could do urban public trans. We could do public transport. That's okay. And then, um, and then some textile mills. Sure, we'll do some textile mills. You guys like textile mills. I, I think everybody likes textile mills. All right, what are we working on? What are we working on? We're working on, we're working on this. We're working on building some we're working on building some infrastructure that's going to help support um, removing power from the shogunate because their their leader is now outrageously outrageously wealthy. Um, oh, that will also increase things, so we need to do that too, and that's going to let us recruit an arms industry to the front. Um, is that correct? It's going to increase the strength of the samurai. The shogunate it's at minus four. I just I just don't have enough bureaucracy to fix it that way. This is so this is so frustrating. Ah, <laughs> I got so I got such good luck. I got such good luck, but I wanted to record it as a single segment. If you really, if you don't want to record it as a single segment and you want to break it up and be like, all right, this is the time where I'm going to uh, insert a little, a little uh, chip here and be like, all right, that's, that's the next thing that I'm going to save. That's okay too. You can do that. Um, but I just, I just like, I just like moving it. Um, we are going to downsize the shipyard because we don't need that much. Um, Radicals from discrimination, intelligentsia, assimilation. All right, we could. We could do that. I need desperately. I need desperately to get rid of this. All right. I tell you what. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pause it here. 